What's up guys? Today we have another Steam free to play walkthrough. Today it is Metophobia, which is supposed to be like an old style point and click game. Give it our best shot. Hopefully we can get through it. I'm kind of bad at these games, but I've actually been beating them recently. It takes me a little bit longer, but the fact I'm beating them is good. <laughs> That's good because it's hard. Point and clicks are hard. My name is Richard Elmstead. Oh, he reads. And I used to call this city home. Give if me a second. Here long enough. The stench of the city seeps into your skin, and you have to get out. I lived here long enough, and then some. Long enough to get to know the people at the top. The politicians who line their pockets while the city decays. The vultures who take what they want while the rest of us go hungry. I'm a painter. I don't make much off my work, but I get by. I come from a long line of politicians, but I never wanted any part of that life. I traded the mansion on the hills for the life of a starving artist the first chance I got. I never regretted it. All the city reporters used to know my name. Some of them knew me for my work. Most knew me for my father. Carl Elmstadt, my father, was the leader of the beloved Cosmopolitan Party. His eyes were lopsided. This past year he ran for mayor. He was running against Edward Raban, an old rival of his and pledged to change the way City Hall did business. He was a natural leader, and an honest man. A politician honest? City, not for what? what it was, but for what it could be. Huh. Politics was more than a job for my father. It was his calling. He never took a vacation, and always showed up at town halls, for better or worse. The people adored him. Even when he failed, they knew he was fighting for them. He was fighting to take the city back. And the vultures at the top weren't going to let him. The night it happened was nothing special. He was working from home, as he often did. That night was his last. A cold-blooded armed robber broke in and shot him. The killer stole everything he could and left my father bleeding on the floor. My father was a noble man. He deserved better. That's what happens when you don't have life alert and you're that age. Kid, my <laughs> yeah, father never dead. had time for me. When I got older, I decided I didn't have time for him. Now I'm burying him. And I wish I could go back. I wish I could talk to him one more time. And tell him that I admired his courage. That I loved him. And always did. This was no random crime. It was calculated. Telepathic. I'm sure of it. After the election, my father made enemies. And that night, one of them struck back. In my bones, I know that Edward Raban is responsible for this atrocity. But I have to prove it. I don't have many friends in this city. But if there's one person who can help me at a time like this, it's Judy. I only hope she'll take my call. Politicians are corrupt, except for my dad. <laughs> my dad is the only non-corrupt politician. Is that Judy? Hello, Patricia. Oh, that's Patricia. I really missed you. What's up, Patricia? Hi, Dad. Hi. How was your trip? I hope you weren't bored. It's a long way from home. <laughs> what do you think? I was just staring out the window contemplating life? It's the 21st century, Dad. I have my phone. Can we just skip the lame small talk? God. Well, somebody's a bit cranky from the yeah. trip. Why don't you just relax a bit? We'll talk later. Can't wait. Lord almighty. What a violent little girl. She angry at the world. Holy dad. <laughs> I have to find out what happened to my father. I know I haven't spoken to Judy in more than six years, but I need her help. I should call her as soon as possible. Where the f Freak is our cellular device. Can I pick this up? If it turns yellow, that means you can pick it up, I'm assuming, or at least interact with it. This place is it. a mess. I better clean it up. I'll start with these scissors. Scissors? Better to stab Patricia with for mouth and off. <laughs> My paintbrush. I'll take it. Ah, yes, the paintbrush. I like that it lights up yellow when you can interact with things. That's what a real mess. good. I don't need anything else here. That tells me things. I don't need to touch that. 
Yes, you do. It turned yellow. You need to touch it. Why do we have wine just sitting in the floor? I don't want to change my clothes right now. Ah, that's how you change your clothes. I'll just leave it there. What if she comes back? Oh, it's a naked model. That is not... No time for jazz right PG. now. Where's our cellular device, bro? Did you... Is it in the kitchen, like on a corded phone? Old school? My knife! I've been looking for this for weeks. Ah, my knife! It's in here. Let's keep collecting sharp pointed objects. It's good. I can dig it. Is this our... Ah, our bag of many things. Cellular device. Call. Yes. Uh, let's call Patricia. <laughs> Why should I call her when she's here? I don't know, just to fuck with her. Damn. <laughs> God, to be an asshole. Why else? God, we got an old, old phone. It's not quite a Nokia, but it's not much. Hey, yo, Judy. No, 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 this Hello, is a Cassidy. Judy. It's me, Richard. It's been a while. I like it's got voice acting. Wow, the great Richard Elmstead has decided to grace me with a phone call. Listen, Judy. Judy sounds hot. I know you're upset with me, but I really need to talk to you. Talk about what? About my father's death. I need your help. <laughs> Sorry to be blunt, Richard, but I haven't heard from you in six years. Now you want me to comfort you and tell you everything's gonna be all right? Yes. No, it's not like that. I'll explain everything. Go ahead then, explain. Can't, my daughter's here. Not now. Can we meet in private? Ooh. Fine. Come to my place. Ooh. Thanks. There we go. All right. I don't need anything in there. I'm not hungry. I already took a shower. Let's tell her we're leaving. We can't just leave. Do you have a moment, sweetheart? What is it? <sighs> Let's just ask everything, and then we'll How leave. Who is my sweetest angel? How should I know? Ask one of your girls. <laughs> Come on, Patty. Really? I'm about to go see one of them. What do you want me to say? Ah. Uh, we haven't seen each other in months. I really missed you. Better watch out. Oh, this guy has boy, sharp here objects. We go again. Yes, Dad, I love you too. Do we have to do this every five minutes? When did you become so sarcastic? <laughs> I don't know, this morning? Uh, never mind. Why are you being such a dick? How is school? <laughs> That's what you should ask. Can we please skip the how is school and gee, what nice weather we're having conversations? Bro, about to drop the people's Just elbow on you. Him. School is fine. That's all you needed to say. How you holding up, honey? I mean, with Grandpa. I didn't even know him. It's still hard to believe. Oh wait. I can't wrap my mind around it. How can anyone be so evil? Oh, we got a legitimate answer. I ask myself answer. that question every day. I miss him so much. Me too. Are you still interested in art, or are you totally, totally obsessed with boys, boys now? now. <laughs> are you making Fun of me? <laughs> yes. Trying to make a joke. Of course, I'm still interested in. What are you working on? Oh, I hit a still painting, right -click on sculpting. Action. What? I'm not in the mood for this right now. Can I keep my hand off Come the on. mouse? We used to always talk about art. It was fun, wasn't it? It was. I just don't feel like talking about it right now. Okay, geez, fine. Jeez, Patricia. How is your mother? Oh, now you care? After 10 years? Not really. I was just Patty, small talk. stop. I just want to know how she is. She's fine. She's got a new boyfriend. He's okay, but he's bald. Bald! Oh, oh bald-headed boy. Why anyone date a bald guy when they can date a guy with hair? Oh, Don't be yeah. so shallow. <laughs> just being realistic, Dad. You should try it. I am. I just don't judge people based on their looks. Maybe one day you'll go bald. Then what would you say? Yeah, right. That's it for now. I'd say it's time okay. to tan the old chrome dome. Who says that when you're talking to somebody? That's I'm it for now. Me. I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would say when I go bald. It's time to tan that chrome dome up, boy. Oh, look at this. Well, look at the shagging wagon, boy. What is this? What is this called? I can't remember. I don't even know cars that well. It's a gremlin. Is it a gremlin? I don't know. Let's go to... Father's office. 
Why are we here? I don't know. I feel like we should. Look it out the window menacingly. I'm sorry, Father. I wish I'd been a better son to you when you were alive. I promise. I will find out who did this to you. I will. Ho <laughs> ho We will murder. What a beautiful view of the garden. Autumn is finally here. The leaves are starting to change. I love the smell of antique wood. Oh, that smell of antique wood. That. We might need that. Check the drawer. Hooray! Nothing. I figured. What about the bottom one? I love the. No, no, no. Stop smelling things and check the bottom drawer. There we go. Peroxide in his work office? That's unusual. I'll take it, nevertheless. What was he doing with peroxide? Did he have, like, some untainted Police wound? already went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there. There could be something deeper. Maybe he hit a file and it's like Locker Bat EXE. Hmm. Old school. Let me see. An old phone book. I'll take it. Never know who I may need to call. Darkwing Duck. When there's trouble, you call DW. The old. Darkwing Duck. The old Let's get the old dangerous. Ho ho ho! Give me that book, son. Ah, Electra, the comic book. Yes. All right, let's arrange this by alphabetical order. A. Okay, antique wood it is. Let's go to Judy's. We'll come back. I know that bookshelf does something fancy, though. Oh, Judy, what's up? My girl. How you doing? Hey, Judy. If it isn't the famous painter, Richard Elmstadt. Please, Judy. Not now. I need your help. Must be pretty damn important for you to come crawling back to me. Come on, Judy. <laughs> Stop it. I know it's been a long time, but I can't change that now. And, well, it's good to see you. I missed you I missed because you. I need you now. Yeah, right. If you missed me, you would have called. I did call. Judy, please. Like today. I really am sorry. Look, if it makes you feel better, you weren't the only one. I haven't spoken to anyone. Ah. Why? Why would you do that? What did we do to you? I can't explain what happened. I needed to leave. Whatever. So, what do you want? Oh! Oh! oh. So, how have you been all these years? Oh! Don't pretend like you <laughs> I thought scared. he was going to tell her what he wanted. Judy, I need your help. Because I need your help. Of course you do. Whenever you need something, poof, you appear. You haven't changed a bit. That's what superheroes do. I'm sorry, Judy. I can't apologize enough for what I did. I didn't want to leave you. I just couldn't be here anymore. You could have said something. You could have called. You just disappeared. I know. I was going through a difficult time. I lead a Don't life act mystery. Like the victim, Richard. We all thought you lost your mind. We thought you were. I know. Please forgive me. I wish I could go back and change it. But you can't. Hmm. Well, nice to have you back, I guess. You look good. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> we you got too. a chance. <laughs> so, how have you been all these years? Eh, same crap, different toilet. But hey, I'm alive. I'm retired from the force, but man, do I miss it. What force? I'm so bored, it hurts. The police Maybe force? Maybe I can help with that. Here we go. Guy drops off the face of the earth and shows up at my doorstep saying he can save me. No, thank you. No, no, you saved me. Come on, don't be like that. I said I was sorry. <laughs> I bet you're sorry. You know, you lost a good thing. I know Patricia was never crazy about me, but you were. What's done is done. Psh, yeah, whatever. Bro, just you just need to. We could. I need to have an adult. I need your help. Moment. What a surprise! And she'll be okay, probably. I know you're not on the force anymore. Obviously, but that's what she wants. Can you track down anybody under the sun? You still got the system up and running? Yeah, I still got it. Ooh. You're the only one who can help me. So spit it out. Who are we looking for? Edward Rabin. I'm sure you heard about my father. Of course. I'm so sorry. I need your help. I think Raban was behind it. Not Raban. Jesus, Richard. Was it Raban or Raban? That is a bold accusation. 
You know he's the mayor, right? Because he killed exactly. my father. He's the mayor now, since my father died. I never took you to be the conspiracy theory type. I know it may seem suspicious to you, but... Huh. You can't just go around accusing people of murder. Besides, Watch they me. already caught the killer. I know. That's why I want to find out what really happened. On my own. Well, with your help. Well, <laughs> with your help. <laughs> Sorry, On Richard. It just sounds a little far-fetched. I need some kind of proof that Raban wanted to get your father out of the oh, way. Oh, God, we're going to have to organize the bookshelf. See you for now. Bye. Oh. Oh. Honestly, I don't need any of those books. Um, Judy? Honest. Okay, he doesn't need any of those books, Never. Judy. <laughs> Dang it. I leave that where it is. Maybe we should just look at things. Usually it's people won't pick up stuff, but now he wants to pick up everything and not look at anything. I keep clicking the wrong thing, my apologies. My clothes. Uh, I didn't click your clothes. I, I guess I did, but I didn't mean to. Alright. We gotta figure out this bookshelf. There's something here. What Holy crap, what was that order? Good, look at that. I don't need to push those books around. Oh, I think, well, I uh, if you need to know what I've... Uh, what in the world? What was that order? Well, if you want to see it, you can see it in the video. Just pause it there. But damn, that, <laughs> that brain boogled me. Alright, god dang it. What is this? Is it proof? It's a sealed document. Why did father hide it like this? Just in case he was murdered. Dad, what did you hide in there? I guess we gotta take it to Judy. Or Patricia. Or Judy, yeah. I have proof, Judy! Look at this. Take a look at this. I don't know what it is. Not much to look at. Why don't you open it first? Alright! <laughs> you talked me into it. No need to do that. I can open this envelope easily with my hands. Well then, why don't you freaking do it then? I already clicked you with it, you ding dong. Dad, what did you hide in there? I can easily open it with my hands, he says. I would never destroy my- Oh, you pissing me off for real, for real. Bro, if you don't open this god dang envelope with your freaking hands, I'm gonna murder you. An envelope I found in Father's office. I should open it carefully. You right-click it. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. An old... Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> Let's take it to duty now. These documents appear to be some kind of policy agenda. Yeah. Let me see. If I had an aneurysm. Wow, this is huge. These documents detail my father's proposals for a wide array of new social programs. He called it Project Cosmo. He wanted to reinvest in the city's educational system with major building renovations and a new vocational school downtown. He had a plan to fight homelessness too. The city would build new shelters and partner with drug rehabilitation centers on a new work training program. He was going to raise the minimum wage and create a system that would offer health care to all city residents. It's ambitious to say the least. But how would he pay for it? Hmm. Apparently Project Cosmo also included an anti-corruption initiative. My father had located hundreds of millions of dollars in misused funds. This was money that was flowing to organized crime syndicates and, of course, right into the pockets of Edward Raban and his political cronies. This document identifies at least two dozen politicians from both parties who were stealing money from the budget. Amazing. Raban must have found out about this and knew it would be the end of him. Could this be why he had my father killed? I wonder who else knows about this. I may be the only one. I should be careful with these documents. Nice. She won't help me if she doesn't. Bro, we got the... Okay. Let's do this the hard way then, if you're going to be a jerk about it. I found a series of documents my father was hiding. They outlined an ambitious plan for the city's future. And trust me, this would have been the end of Raban's political career. What was in the documents? I don't know. Read it. 
a series of social programs that would improve the city's schools, fight homelessness, raise the minimum wage, even offer health insurance to city residents. Why would we fight homelessness? And all of it was going to be paid for by taking down the corrupt politicians who had been stealing from the city for decades. He named okay. names, Judy. Most of them were Edward Roban's guys, too. He planned to go after Roban and his connections to organized crime. He was going to reform the whole city. Imagine the difference a man like that could have made. Huh, I guess I never knew that side of your father. I always assumed he was just like the rest of them. No, he was a great man. But I fear he made some powerful... I enemies. thought he was saying Raban was going to fight <laughs> homelessness. I was like, All that's right, not Richard. a bad thing. Let's say for now that you're right about Raban. Maybe he did have something to do with your father's death. What's our next move? You need me to look into something? Yes. Obviously. The public won't believe me unless I can prove what my father wrote in these documents. Think you can help? Can you dig into Edward Raban's past a bit? Maybe we can find something that links him to the corruption my father talked about. Let me check. It's not going to be easy. Yep, like I thought. I can get you archived newspapers, police records going back a decade, maybe a few internal memos, but the good stuff is classified. No. Only one with access to the real Raban is Raban himself. So I'll break into his office. Genius. <laughs> Let's admit to a crime. Yeah. yeah, security will definitely let the son of a dead political rival rummage through their office. Good idea. Obviously, I should well, break it's in. Well, weekend, so the place should be empty. I know these rich government types. They don't work on their day off. How are you going to get in? You need an employee card. You're going to help hmm. me make one. Hold on. I might have something. We used to call this the skeleton key. Oh. It's an access card like any of the government issued ones Whoa. for employees, but it's got a chip so you can adapt to any sensor in the system. Whoa. Opens every door in the city. You're kidding. We used it for investigations that required a little discretion. We got into buildings like Raban's all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Not that cool because Shouldn't you Shouldn't you figured... give it back to the police? Hell no. Please. The pension isn't what it used to be. I took a few things for myself on the way out. Whoa, you're a Can thief. Can I borrow it? Maybe. What do we say? Please. Please and? Let's... Thank you. Oh. There you go. That's the Richard <laughs> I remember. Okay. See you for now. Bye. Ta-ta for now, TTFN. Alright, let's go to Raban's place. Hooray. I better get to Raban's office as quickly and quietly as possible. By checking the vending Just machine. pushing buttons alone won't help. All right, I could use some coffee. Oh my God! If this has anything to do with my disguise, I'm gonna be kind of pissed. If I start talking. Man, that coffee is strong. I can't just... But now what do we do with the coffee? What we can do is, is we can spill the coffee on the radiator. And then she'll evacuate, maybe. That's hot. I put the coffee on the heater and it dried up. Ah! And then I'm... The heat has completely dried the coffee. The only thing left is a sticky, sugary residue. Oh, how are you supposed to figure this out? My god, my brain hurts. Now we put it on our face. I don't need to stick that on myself. What do you mean? I don't no. need to... Dried coffee mixed with a... Why would I do such a thing? Why not? I don't... I cut the brush hairs from my brush. Oh my god, I'm a goddamn genius. Shit. So let's piece things. Oh my together. fucking god. Voila. A fake oh my god, I'm a fucking madman. That to took me so long. I'm either. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. That took me so long. I'm so mad at okay, myself. So 
Oh I'm fuck. Really going to do this. Yes, we're going to really do this. You know how long I thought about that? Mirrors around here. Uh, hi, damn it. Good evening, ma'am. Ah, oh, it looks evening. good. I'm a freaking mad for your mind. Could you please show me your employee card? Oh, of course. Yeah, here's my employee card, you freaking. You need my looks card? just like me. You're all good. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. What? What, what is it? I know you! From that porno? You... you do? You're that famous painter! I... well... Oh my god, I forgot your name! What is it? <laughs> oh, I know! Oh, I know! Salvador, Salvador Dali! Dali. <laughs> I've been to your gallery, it was years yeah, ago Yeah, that's me. Such beautiful paintings you have there! Uh, yes. Thank you. I'm sorry to waste your time, Mr. Dolly. You must have something very important to do. I do, I do. Yes, a very important meeting. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Mr. Dolly. See you on the flip side. God, we fucking finally made some progress. Lord Almighty. I'm in. What are we doing? Hi, Richard. What's up? Hey, Judy. I made it past the receptionist, and I'm in the elevator. It took you long enough. Did you? <laughs> I had to disguise myself. I'll tell you later. So, where's the office? Let's see. Should be on the top floor. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Good luck. Good luck. What is she, Rob from Star Fox 64? <laughs> God, dude, that brain boozled me so hard. That was awful. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Ah, let's look at the power box first. I'd be needing some My of this. Clothes aren't expensive. Get out of the way, dude. I'll try to cut off the electricity. Hopefully that will disconnect the door security lock. Oh, I have just the thing. Genius. Oops. Looks like I turned off the electricity for the whole floor. I better act fast before someone comes. Wait, what do we do? Get in there. Go, go, go. You said they didn't work what? on the weekends. The door is open. Well, that was easy, at least. I'll just leave it there. Whoa, it's a cell phone. Urban's phone will really help me. Why would he leave a cell phone here unattended? I better bring this to Judy. Maybe she can track some of his calls. Nope, I need the password. There's no way I'll be able to crack it. I would take it with me to have Judy check it out, but it's fastened to the table. Maybe I just need a cell phone. Nothing I just want to make sure. Nothing useful. Alright, let's go. The phone might be all I need. I should leave before someone finds out I'm here. You talked me into it. My job here is done. Better get out quickly before someone shows up. I'm Bing. telling you, that guy's out of his mind. Oh, shoot. I hear you, buddy, but you can't argue with the money. Oh, that rhymes. Someone is coming. Quick, hide! Oh, I'm such a ninja. Why are the lights out? I don't understand why anyone would want to work here voluntarily. Beats me. If I didn't have a mountain of debt, I'd quit this madhouse tonight. And I'd be right behind you. How's the consulting business been lately? Wonderful. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. This year's been a disaster. I haven't had a chance to refocus since that nightmare you and I went through. I still can't believe it really happened. I think about it every day. Did you kill my papa son? Horrible. But on the other hand, if old Elmstadt is finally dead, maybe it was worth it. As long as we don't have to deal with them again. I hope I never see those. Shh! Keep it down! They might be listening. Yeah, yeah. Just turn the lights back on and let's go get a drink. Alright, now we attack! What? Why are they leaving that way? The elevator's over this way. Are they taking the stairs? That was close. Well, now I know for sure that Raban had something to do with my father's Your death. Your dad was doing satanic stuff, probably. I shouldn't stick around to find out, though. 
I need to get out of here. You talked me into it. All that disguise work just to be in that room for like not even a whole three minutes. That's crazy. God, that was so brain boggling, dude. I cannot believe I had to cut the br the thing off the paintbrush and then attach it to that turd I made. I can't even go to Raban's office no more. Yo, Judy, look at this cool cellular device that doesn't look old like mine. He doesn't have the All old Motorola. Phone. That might be enough. Let's check it out. Check it out, Judy. Okay, show me something good, baby. Show me something good. Oh, I will. No, hmm. <laughs> Looks like he only used this phone to call his family. Maybe a few people from the office. You need to look deeper. Nothing out of the ordinary. So it's useless? Maybe he has a second phone. Maybe you should go Doubtful. deeper. He's got anti-scan on this one, and that's illegal. He wouldn't risk putting that on a second device. Anti-scan? Aren't you scanning it now? Because I have the physical phone. You can't scan him wirelessly. Oh, look deeper then. There's got to be something on Sorry, it. Sorry, buddy. I can take a closer look, but I doubt there's anything deeper than what's for dinner calls. What do you mean? Okay. He's got anti-scan well, on it. To me, then. Oh, sh give it to your daughter. She'll figure it out. She's not a ding-dong like this chick is. Hey, girl, look at this phone. Tell me what the technology... What the fuck? Pouring hydrogen... No, I don't think that's gonna work. The smartphone I borrowed from Raban's office. I hope you won't notice. Hmm. I don't need to call... I don't... Well, damn it! I have no leads! This is utter bullshit. Here, give me some information. I'm confused. Hi. You're back. What can I do for you? Man in the quarter. I heard a strange conversation between two men outside Raban's office. They said they were glad my father is dead because they were afraid of them. Any thoughts on who they are? Uh -uh. Could be anybody. Unless... No. That what would, would be it be? Insane. What? Tell me. Is that Idra Tor? There was a string of cases not unlike your father's murder back in the 80s. Within a year, we had four or five killings, all of them suspiciously similar. It was a big deal back then. The whole force was on it. We learned about it at the academy. Everybody had a different theory, but there was one I found particularly convincing. Which is? Some say there's an underground organization in the city. They mostly lay low. Some drug money here, blackmail money there. But when push comes to shove, they take care of those who oppose them. You're talking about an organized crime syndicate. Some kind of secret mafia? Very secret. The papers ran stuff on it at the time. You can find it easily enough in the library. We're going to the library. Thanks, Judy. I'll look into it. Thanks, Judy. Anytime. See, I like how we had a conversation and she gave me the phone back, but she didn't give me that information. So if you didn't go back to talk to her, you'd what just you be running around in circles what? forever. What, what else can you tell me about? Not much. I learned about those murders from a text. But you said you thought the theory. It would explain a lot, but that's not the same. Haven't the police said? Sure. Investigating organized crime is an ongoing effort in the city. Hell, the CIA even stepped in after that string of murders. And? They found nothing. Not what if? Richard, do you believe aliens exist? Why not? No, not really. Why? There's no proof that they do. Well, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thousands of people investigate alien life, and a handful of crazies even say they've met them. But no undeniable proof. Same thing here. If you say so. So maybe it wasn't Raban at all. Or maybe Raban is under the control of these people. I need to find out more about this. I should go. See My people need me. Oh, okay. To the library. If I have to make a disguise, so help me. What's up, old lady? Good afternoon. Hello, 
there. How may I help you? Tell me something about yourself. Me? I'm a book lover through and through. I've worked here for more years than I care to tell you. <laughs> I love it here. I wouldn't change my job for anything in the world. Don't say that too loud, or your boss will hear and take advantage of it. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid of that. He's a very sweet young man, like yourself. Thank you, ma'am. What can you tell me about this library? This building has a long history. One of the men who helped build this city founded it more than 200 years ago. That's impressive. The library does need renovations, though. When Elmstadt was running for mayor, he promised a new wing would be constructed. I'm so sad he passed away. So am I. I'd like to use a computer. Of course, sir. May I please see your library card? I actually don't have one. But I need to use a computer. It's urgent. Too bad. I am sorry. That's so fucked up. Computers are for members of this library only. Oh. I'll be quick. I promise. I can pay you. I'm sorry. That's impossible. Oh my so god, woman. Real. Exceptions. This is how you get peroxided. Okay. I'd like to sign up for a library card then. <laughs> I apologize. Oh my god. I have to wait until tomorrow. Oh man, give me your Why library card or die. Because the only librarian who can register new members is Hillary. And today is her day off. You are useless, old lady. Is there any way I can access a computer without a card? Sorry, dear. No. I have to go now. <laughs> this lady is a gigantic pain in the butt. Excuse me. Give me your library card. Yes. What are you doing? Can't you see? I'm rather busy. Oh god, he's I involved. apologize, sir. What can you tell me about this library? It's the oldest in the city. Been here for at least a century. They've updated it and modernized it, of course. But you can still feel the history in the walls. I love that about this place. I know what you mean. I feel it too. I thought I was the only one. This is a magical place. I spend all my time here. Best thing about being a bookworm is that no matter how many hundreds of books you may have read, there are always thousands more right there waiting for you. Exactly, my friend. You understand. Can I help you somehow? Pfft, I deeply doubt that. Give me your library card. Right because no one can help me. Unless you're a psychic. <laughs> What do you mean? I am looking for something that is impossible to find. I see. Are you looking see you for, for now. Bye. Okay, are you looking for a knife? I got one. And I more than... He looks busy. <laughs> okay. Give me the... Excuse me. Can you tell me anything <laughs> about this? I'm afraid not, dear. Uh... Maybe if I shank you with it. He looks busy. Excuse me. I'm Look okay. at all those books. Man, I haven't read a book in ages. I would love to sit down and read now. But I have more important things to do. Man, I haven't... Get away from my computer. What are you doing, mister? You're... I would like to use the computer. Yeah. Not without a membership card. You can fucking... Oh my god, lady. I don't need that. Excuse me. Yeah. Let me help. I... Phone books, yes. All I know is... Oh, I clicked too fast. Mary. Can we go That's back to that? There's no way you'll be able to find her like this. There are dozens of phone books here, and each must have hundreds of Marys in them. And I call each and every one of them. I have a phone well, book. Well, you were probably right. I don't see how I can help. Uh, if only I had a I have that. version of these phone books. They used to organize them by district, and that would be much easier. 
I know she lived in the Fleetwood district. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. See you for now. Well, at least it didn't take us 30 minutes to figure this one out. Let's talk to him again. Nothing. Oh, God. We missed conversation ailments. Whatever. You wanted Here, a phone book. Sir, try this. Give me your membership card. My goodness. This is the version I was looking for. Where did you get it? In an old place. So, let me see. Mary? No. No. Look at this. There oh. is only one Mary in the Fleetwood district. This must be her. Thank you very much, young man. Is there any way I can do something for you? Membership card. Actually, you could help me with something. I need to access the computer, but I'm not a member of the library. No problem, my friend. Here, you can borrow my card. Like she doesn't know I just got the card from you. <laughs> like, what? Thank you kindly, sir. After she's such a stickler about the- finally call her now! After she's such a stickler Man, about the rules. Of... Aye, right, damn it. Talk I to can't her. persuade her to let me use it. Alright, look at my freaking library card, you ginormous dingbat. So, I have a card. Can I use the computer now? Of course, dear. Let of me course! <laughs> God, I'm so mad at her. Wait a minute. This is not your card. Bitch. This is card. Yeah, he lent it to me. Just for today. Is that okay? Jake, did you loan your membership card to this gentleman? Yes, I did. He's a wonderful young man, and I owe him one. Okay. Oh, so you'll do it for Jake, right, but not me. The computer. Okay. Very much. Is that how is that how the rules work? Is that how the rules work, old lady? Huh? Huh? You fucking ginormous dick. Oh, I don't like that old lady. Here's something. February 1983. Will the killing ever stop? Ooh. Last night, another politician was found dead. Stephen Broadman, a top advisor to the mayor, was murdered in his summer home just a few miles outside the city. This marks the sixth murder in two years of individuals connected to the mayor or the city council. Detective Howard J. Proctor, the head of the investigation, said in a statement, We are working with our best men, and I can assure you we are very close to ending this madness. Detective Proctor declined to comment on whether the killings might be politically motivated, or if the police have discovered any other connections between the murders. Hmm. Interesting. i better find out more about this Detective Proctor. He may have some useful information. First, I need to find out where he lives. There's only one person who can help me with that. Is it Judy? Oh, my phone just went off. Is it Judy? Is Judy the one that can help me? Burn in hell, old lady. He's too busy. Membership card is mine. I should give Jake. He, he's talking on the phone. I worked so Here's hard. Here's your card, sir. Thank you very much for the favor. Thank you, my boy. I'm gonna burn this library to the ground. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, Judy. Can you run a name for me? Who is it? A detective who worked on the old murder cases from the 80s. His name is Proctor. Heard of him? Proctor. Proctor. Sounds familiar. I want to pay him a visit, if he's still in the city. Can you get me his address? Just a second. Alrighty, Howard James Proctor, former detective, studied criminal justice, okay, okay, married, wife deceased, blah, blah, blah. Yep, here it is. Got a pen handy? It's 76 Maple Street, apartment A. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. I owe you one. You owe me a few now. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> say it like Robert, don't say it at all. Alright, Proctor. Hey, 
Bing bong. Huh. Hello? Who's there? Are you alright? Uh, he's one of those types. Help me! Please! Yes, of course. How can I help? I... I'm having a seizure. I need my pills. I'll call an ambulance. No. No! Do not call anyone. I'd rather die than go to the hospital. Let me in. What do you need me to do? Go to the pharmacy. It's just down the street. Get me heparin. Please hurry. I'll okay, heparin I'll you. be back as soon as possible. Give me heparin. I need heparin. Good afternoon. Hello. What can I do for you? Heparin. Now. <laughs> Dang it. It's not nice for me to talk to anybody. Heparin. Right away. Do you have a prescription? Oh, God, it's prescription. No, I don't. But a man is in serious danger. Pull out my knife. Yeah, sure. A man is in danger. Never heard that one before. He's having a seizure. We don't just hand out drugs to junkies here. You need You're a prescription. You're a fucking junkie. You don't understand. It's not for me. This man this could man die. die. No she prescription, don't care. no medicine. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let him die. How can how can I prove to you it's really for my friend? I gotta stop clicking so fast. I, I thought it was the same option. Prescription. Okay. This is hopeless. Or get it another way. Or I should go now. I can pull out my knife. Goodbye. I probably gotta talk to the box man, but I really just wanna shank some people. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and make this game so much easier. <laughs> Did I just tap him in the butt? Hi there. What do you want? Happer! Saying hello. You don't have anything better to do? Oh my god. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm working! I'm working here! What's your job here? <laughs> god. Hey man, get alive! I don't come to your job and bother you while you're working. Do you even have a job? I'm a painter. I'm a painter. Well, look at you, yeah, Mr. Fancy Pants. Pants. This must be nice. <laughs> I carry heavy boxes. That's my job. Do you pick up heavy boxes about and this put them down? It's a pharmacy, same as every other one in the city. The truck drops stuff off, I bring it in. You got some heparin? Do you know anything about the lady up front? Yeah, she's a pain in the ass. All she does is complain and act superior to everybody. You know what? I think you two would get along. I should go now. Fine. Talk to him again. I have nothing to... <sighs> what is this? Oh, I pickpocketed him. Here. I touched his butt and pickpocketed him somehow. Why didn't you say you work for us? I'm happy to say you passed the test. What test? I was just seeing. I'm the regional pharmacy inspector. You didn't sell me the pills, which is correct. You shouldn't sell anything to anyone without a prescription. Keep up the good work. Oh, thank you. Now give me the pills. Although I do have a friend who needs his heparin. That won't be a problem, will it? Of course not. I, I have it right here. That was slick. I didn't even notice him still. And I was like, hey, why did he pat him on the butt I'm for? I'm giving you a perfect score on this review. I should go now. Goodbye. Thanks for the drugs, dumbass. Ha <laughs> ha! See you later. I'm working here. God damn it. <laughs> I ain't my druggy friend. I got you, Hepburn. I came back with your pills. Please, come in. Oh god, Please, he's old. Give me my pills. All right, you talked me into it. Here you are, sir. <laughs> God. Oh. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done for me, my boy. Of course. It was no trouble. If you hadn't passed by, I don't know what would have happened. Please, have a seat. You're not one of those Jesus freaks, are you? Or here to get me to sign a petition against war in the Middle East? Because I'm so very tired of those people. Don't make me no, seize you up again. like that. So, 
What brings you to an old, lonely man's home? You're not a thief, I know that much. Or you would have ransacked the place and left me for dead. No, I just came to ask you a few questions. Very well. Let's have a seat then. Left for dead for senior home notation. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Hi, friend. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course not. You were a detective once, weren't you? Yes, I was. Why do you ask? I've read a lot about you. Oh, you have, have you? I didn't think anyone gave a damn about the old schoolers. You were a hell of a detective back in the day. One of the best. <laughs> I don't know about all that. It was a job. I did it better than most, I suppose. I'm sure you heard about the death of Carl Elmstad. Of course, it was all over the news. I understand they caught the bastard. He deserves to rot in prison. Though nowadays, prison is for girls. These degenerates spend all day watching TV, going to the gym, studying! <laughs> Might as well be a spa resort. Back in my day, prison was hell. If you murdered a good man like Carl Elmstadt, you were made to feel the full, brutal force of the law. Who's Elmstadt to you? My papa son. I'm Richard Elmstadt. His son. Oh, I'm so sorry, my boy. I can't imagine your pain. But you can help me. How's that? Can't you see it? The mayor promises change and reform. Then, he's assassinated. Sound familiar? You're referring to the cases I closed more than 30 years ago. They were solved, my boy. What does your father have to do with them? Case closed, son. Same people did it. I know it. You know it. You know it, you know too. what? There is a secret society that rules this city. They're not elected. They exist in the shadows. Cthulhu. You're drawing conclusions based on conspiracy theories. Am I? Either way. Your father's case is closed. They caught his killer. What else is there to do? I can't let them get away with this. And you plan to reopen the investigation all by yourself? <laughs> yes, I'm That's a hero. That's madness. Help You're me or don't. Madness. You can't change my mind. I just feel like Cthulhu is I was a young idea. man with crazy ideas once, too. If some old man told me it was impossible, I told him to shove off and did it anyway. <laughs> Very well. I will help you if I can. This was no ordinary break-in. It was a planned assassination, just like in the cases you worked so many years ago. Those cases are closed. Cold-blooded thieves in the night, nothing more. But you don't believe that. You're not on the force anymore. You don't have to lie to me. At this point, you're only lying to yourself. All right, but what I'm about to tell you has never been proven. I came close a few times, but my superiors wouldn't hear of it. They even tried to suspend me for talking about it. I'm listening. There is a group of... people. They rule this city from the shadows. They control everything. Cool. If you step out of line, they will kill you. I knew it. As I said, I could never prove any of it. No one was allowed to investigate any case relating to the matter. I had to turn a blind eye. I had to carry on as though I knew nothing. But who are these people? Are they mobsters? A secret society? I really don't know. I only know they exist and that they've been here for decades. You must know more. There were rumors that they moved through the city using underground tunnels. But that's impossible, and I never found any reason to believe that was true. That's all I know, my boy. Thank you, sir. This has been very helpful. What about those murders you investigated back in the 80s? They were similar to my father's case, weren't they? Somewhat. Tell me what you know. Please. You caught four of these murderers. It must have told you something. No one said anything. Most of them died before I had the chance to question them. I believe there is only one still alive, but... What? It's pointless to speak to him. Who, uh... Who is he? 
He's insane. His name is Michael Coltrane, but everyone just calls him Crazy Mike. Spends all day rambling about aliens or monsters or some nonsense like that. After we uh, arrested Cthulhu. him, we had him Do institutionalized. It. Crazy Mike. What can you tell me about this Crazy Mike? He was once a very talented assassin. Killed a lot of politicians across South America and Europe in the 80s. His psychiatrist claims he had an epiphany. He suddenly realized the horrors of his profession. And snap! He couldn't take the guilt. He went insane. Is he still in the same prison hospital? As far as I know. Why? I know where I'm going next. I want to talk to him. And what do you plan to do? Kick down the door and yes. demand to question a lunatic? They'll lock you up with him. You can't just visit a place like that. And even if you do see him, he won't tell you a thing. I can still picture the crazy look in his eyes when we busted his apartment. And the smell! He hadn't gotten up off the floor in a week. Pissed all over himself. Couldn't even speak except for some gibberish about the monsters. Hmm. He was terrified. Were we right about we never could get a confession out of him. <laughs> Couldn't even get him to say a proper sentence. I can't imagine they cured him in that hospital. Still, I need to speak to him. It could help me a lot. You can try, but I wouldn't if I were you. I appreciate your help. Of course. I have plenty of books. I have nothing to... I better not... Just want to check everything. Just Photographs so. are windows into the past. I would never steal these treasures from anyone. Old men tend to be rather protective of their liquor cabinets. I shouldn't touch that. I better not touch that. Alright, nothing here. See you, old man. Thank you for your time, sir. I'll let you be now. No trouble at all. It was a pleasure to meet you, Richard. Good luck with your investigation. And thanks again for helping me. You're a good man. Don't mention it. <laughs> Back to the mo old mobile. Prison hospital. What's up, fam? Hi. Hello, officer. Good afternoon, sir. Can I help you? I'm yeah. here to visit Michael Coltrane. Too bad. You are? Uh, a friend of his. <laughs> Mr. Coltrane is not allowed visitors. There's been a court order. I really need to see him. It's urgent. No exception, sir. The only I'm a doctor. people allowed to see him are his doctors and those with explicit permission from the court. I cannot let you in. That's me. I see. I, I'm a doctor. You see these pills? These are doctor pills. Can you tell me anything? No. Ah. Uh, what about this? Can you tell me anything? No. Uh, let's see if old Judy can give us something. Yeah, I need some court order documents or proof that I'm a doctor. Hey, Judy. Hello, Richie. I need you to help me forge something. Hey. Again? You're really enjoying this newfound life of crime, aren't you? I Did you like helping me? As a detective. <laughs> and where do the clues lead today, Sherlock? Prison hospital. I want to talk to Michael Coltrane. Michael Coltrane. Michael Coltrane. Crazy Mike? Yes. That's the one. You know him? Of course. He was a modern day Jack the Ripper. At least that's what the papers called him in the 80s. The license you want to talk lady. to this guy? Yes. You're insane. You're insane. Thanks for the encouragement. Just saying, he went on a killing spree through the city. What does he have to do with your case? Uh, your business. Detective Proctor told me he was the killer in the last of the political assassinations. He might be able to tell me something. Problem is, he went insane just before they caught him. Huh. Wow. Look at you, knowing all the top secret information before me. I'm a little jealous. I'm starting to get the hang of this. You think you can forge some paperwork to get me in? Hell sure. yeah. Sure, give me a second. Breaking the law, breaking the law. 
wonder if she's going to double cross me. She just has so she much stuff. She get you access to most of the prison wing. It's a clearance pass for a visiting psychiatrist. The guard won't look twice at it. Just don't forget, your name is Dr. Frank Villano. Yeah, I'm not old. You're my hero, yeah, Jimmy. What would I do without you? You know, not many people would help someone like me. Not after I left everyone I love. After oh. I left you. Oh, make moves. Richard, I don't know if I can ever forgive you. I hoped that you would come back one day, but when you disappeared, that hurt. That hurt for a long time. Seeing you again is a little like picking at the scars, you know? She's still mad at me. She might be double crossing no, me. Stay. I need to know why you left. I need to hear you say it. I told you. I had my reasons. Richard, I don't care what you say. Just don't avoid the question anymore. Why did you leave? I'm pregnant. It happened gradually. I felt myself pulling away from everyone, getting further and further. And then I reached a point when I couldn't speak to anyone. Why not? I was depressed. I would lie awake all night, unable to sleep. And when the morning came, I couldn't get out of bed. That's why you wouldn't sleep here? I didn't want to put that on you. You could have told me. I, I could have helped. We all could have. Patricia, Miranda, what everyone. What Miranda? Is that my old wife? I know. I chose to be alone. But then, being alone became too much. I couldn't escape the feeling. <sighs> I started... What? Tell me. I started sleeping with my models. Oh. I thought it would cure my depression. And it would work for a little while. I would forget how I felt. I'd forget everything. I would convince myself I was happy again. Oh, we're psycho. But before the night was over, everything would come crashing down on me again. Richard, I... Don't think you weren't good enough. I cared about you, I did. But once I started with that, uh, I couldn't look you in the eye. I was so ashamed. Then I ran away. So that I wouldn't have to see you. You, or anyone else. I don't want forgiveness. Freaky I don't deserve that. And after I finish investigating my father's murder, I'll leave. I won't bother you again. What? I had no idea. I'm... I'm glad you told me. Thank you. Thank you for being honest. It's the least I can do. I'll talk to you soon. I should go. Sure. Hi, right, homie. I'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for the... She's probably going to double cross me at some point. She's just helping way too much for being mad at me. But you never know. Who knows? I'm Dr. Diego Fierramo. Hello, sir. I am Dr. Frank Villarmo. <laughs> Why do we change our like accent? We've already Michael talked to each Coltrane. other. Good afternoon, doctor. Let me see. All right, you're good to go. Thanks, Are man. You I haven't seen you here before. Yes, I've just arrived from the University of Alabama to study Mr. Coltrane. He is a fascinating Fly subject, Alabama. I must say. You could say that. Just be careful. The glass is bulletproof, so you're safe. But he does try to intimidate new people. Don't worry. I'm used to that. Can I be honest with you, Doctor? Of course. This guy is mentally ill. I mean seriously deranged. I don't understand why you're all so fascinated by him. The most disturbing cases are always the most interesting. Okay. I'll say this. He has gotten better over time. He's been here 30 years. <laughs> and when he's medicated, he can at least speak coherently. Oh, I got medication. The treatments are working then. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, good luck. Thanks, man. Thank you. Ew. I better not. Ah, uh, he's got a special room. What's up, fam? Hello? That's a big boy. My name is Richard. I know you don't believe me, but I need your help. No, not another shrink. 
I had enough of you people. I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. I said I'm Richard. You're not a doctor, Michael. I just want to hear your story. I want to know what you saw back in the 80s. I already told my story a thousand times. They got it on tape and everything. As one of your shrink not shrink play it for you. I told you, Michael. I'm not a doctor. Yeah, right. Ain't nobody come through here but doctors and guards. Beat it, Doc. You're right. I'm not supposed to be here. I forged documents and snuck in just to see you. My father was killed. I don't know you. I don't know your father. Not my problem. He was killed by the same people who hired you all those years ago. And what do you want from me? I can't help you. You're the only witness still alive. You think I know something? Yeah. I know something happened to you. You're not the same man you once were. The people who killed my father, they changed you. Well, that may be true, but it doesn't matter. Nobody believes me. I will. I do. Hold up. If you ain't a cop, and you ain't a doctor, how did you find out about me? Detective, Detective Proctor told yeah. me about you. Proctor. Proctor, yeah. That guy, he's still alive. Yeah, he's alive. More or less. Listen, Michael. I risked a lot just coming here. You're the only one who can help me. Please, I beg you. Tell me everything you know about these people. I don't think you're crazy. I trust you. So please, trust me. All right then. You've been locked away a long time, so you probably don't know. But you're kind of famous. You were one of the best at your job. Some might even say you were a legend. Really? Look, I don't condone what you did, but I am impressed you managed to get so close to so many important people. Politicians, world leaders. It's not easy. I was good, wasn't I? But I hated every second of it. So why did you do it? The money, why else? 800,000 to kill one guy? People on the street kill for a few dollars. I thought of myself as a higher class of killer. But a legend? No, I never thought I'd be a legend. Tell me exactly what happened. But I remember like it was yesterday. By that time, I already had three kills in the books. And a nice pile of money in the bank. So I said to myself, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> this guy, all dressed in black, shows up one day, says he'll pay me 800 grand to kill some guy. He puts 100 grand in cash right there in front of my hand and says, This is just for listening to me. You get the rest when the job's done. So, I agreed. I'd do one more job. Hmm. Who did you have to kill? The target was some guy I'd never heard of, but apparently he was famous. Some kind of president of the Peace of America organization. Tyler Green, if I remember right. To this day, I don't know why this hippie was so important. Tyler Green was the man who inspired my father's entire political philosophy. Ah, the pieces start to fall together. So I did the job. The guy in black said to meet him in this shack way out on the outskirts of the city. He asked for pictures, for proof. Oh, oh God, no, not again. What's wrong? I, I'll see it again. No, G get out of my head. His head's about Michael, to explode. look at me. Uh -oh. oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I have these seizures. As the shrinks call them. I have seizure okay medicine. Keep talking? Sure, where was I? Oh yeah, the guy in black says how satisfied they are with my work. Says they got my money right there. But first, he wants to sit and talk. He says they want me to work for them full time. But doesn't say who they are. By this point, I don't really care. Mafia, CIA, the Russians, whatever. 
I just wanted to get my money and get out of there. And then it happened. The room was quiet. Kind of like this room right now. But then it got too quiet. No sound at all. He started talking again, but his mouth was closed. What mm. do you mean? God help me, I never experienced anything like it. He told me they needed me. They wanted me to be one of them. Who were they? I don't know. He just kept sending his thoughts to my head, and I heard every word just as I can hear you now. But that wasn't the worst of it. Someone else was talking. At first, I thought they were in the room, too, but there was nobody there. He spoke to me. He tried to convince me. He showed me pictures in my head. He showed me their incredible wealth, the power they had. He showed me how they control the world. I saw it all with my head, as if I'd experienced it myself. Like a memory, these people are not from this world. They're monsters, aliens from another planet. I started screaming. I left the money on the table and ran. And the whole time I was running, I could hear the voices in my head. The voices started speaking some nonsense language, whispering like they were right next to me. I went back to my apartment and lay on the floor for what must have been days. Do you still hear them, Michael? I heard them for a week or two after that. Then all of a sudden they stopped. B but sometimes... What? Sometimes I see things. What things? Things not of this world. We are slaves, Richard. I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to see these things. I envy those I killed. Living in this hell is my true punishment. Don't worry, Michael. Everything will be all right. You don't know how often I hear that phrase. It's never gonna be all right. Never. Not as long as they exist. He may be hiding something important. I should check out Coltrane's apartment in case there's any evidence left behind. That is, if the apartment still exists. Where's it That's at? it for now. Thanks, man. What a good guy. Give me one moment. I'm gonna turn up the volume on their voices a little bit more. I hope it's coming through pretty good since we're already this far in the game, but just to be a little bit... Because it's starting to escalate now. We gotta find his apartment to find that. We'll probably have to talk to somebody. Judy. Yep. It'll either be Judy or the library. Hey, yo, girl. Hey, just me. Make it fast, Richie. I'm a little busy at the moment. How did it go? Were you able to talk to him? A little. Was he totally out of his mind? He was calm for the most part. Must be heavily medicated. But he told me some interesting stuff. He claims he was working for this secret society. I want to look through his old apartment. There might be some clues left behind. I'm sure the police cleaned the place out. Who knows if it's even there anymore? I still want to check it out. Can you find the address? Of course. Can Pavarotti sing? Count to ten and I'll have it. Okay, One, let's two, see. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Got nine, it. ten. Michael Alan. Coltrane, last known address, 952 <laughs> Lincoln Avenue. She actually did now, it right let's see if it's still it. standing. You're in luck. Nobody's touched the place since 1978. And no new tenants since Crazy Mike. What's the odds? I guess nobody wants to sleep in Jack the Ripper's old bedroom. Thanks. All the same, be careful. That's a rough neighborhood. The place is probably crawling with junkies. I have a knife. Thanks. I will. And, hey. Yeah? I've been thinking about everything you told me before. I want you to know I'm not mad at you. It took a lot of guts to tell me all that, and it wasn't easy to hear. But I forgive you. I forgive me Thanks. too. 
That means a lot to me. I don't want you to disappear again after this. I don't have a lot of friends. And I could use one to talk to. Oh, oh, we're back in, down. boys. Anyway, here I go getting sentimental when you have a case to solve. Have fun at your crack house. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try. Talk to you soon. I'll be here. Mike's apartment. Nice. Whoa, this place is a mess. Yeah. It's a table. How nice. Genius. Now there's something underneath it, maybe. Take this piece of wood. We're gonna need that. It's a nice piece of wood. There's no point in destroying the table completely. A beautiful view of one of the worst neighborhoods in the city. No thanks. Hollow. It seems hollow. I can't see any use for this thing. Uh, we gotta bust into that thing somehow. Bust that sucker. Hey! Let's go. Pick that back up. I don't need to kill. Okay, whatever. Treasure. There's something in here. Tons of money. Look at that. A map. A treasure map? Hell yeah, son. What's up? A map I found in Coltrane's apartment. It looks like it leads into the woods. It shows the coordinates of the hut where Coltrane held secret meetings with those people. Whoever they are. At least I hope that's where it leads. <sighs> Alright. Follow the map. The hut. Jabba the hut. I'm not gonna lie. This place gives me the creeps. I bet no one has stepped foot in this part of the forest in years. I'm not gonna lie. Just making sure I'm not missing anything I'm out here. Okay. Well, this is a nice old check. I don't need this junk. I don't need that. A knitted basket. It must have been here for decades. Probably under that Almost rug. Almost looks like a small table. Let's move this rug. So we can find the hidden capacitage way to Cthulhu's land. A trap Whoa. door. How did we know? It won't open. Why? Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, well, well. At least what the game got easier. Here? A secret door. I wonder what's down below. He's not alone. <laughs> Ah, yes. A torture room, my favorite. There now is somebody something shut the trap door. deeply unsettling about this place. I don't like it. I should look around and get back to the city as soon as possible. You thought this is where we die, son. You done goofed. I can't see anything. Do I have a flashlight? I can't see. Alright, what about the smartphone? Using Raban's phone as a flashlight is a good idea. Unfortunately, the battery's dead. Fuck, man. Come on. It's a good idea, but... My clothes aren't expensive. <sighs> Son of a bitch. What else can we use as a fla- Ah! Ah, oh no. I was about to say we could use I can't the... see. <clears throat> Shit. Where can I find batteries? Comparing my cell phone with Raban's is like comparing medieval and modern technology. <sighs> Shit. Can I go upstairs? Maybe I can go back to the apartment and then charge my phone. God, you take forever to climb that ladder, my dude. What is this, by the way? I'll take this piece of rope. Solid wooden board. I'll take it. Oh, we found something. Hooray. What's this? I might find a use for this wax block and that wooden stick. What wooden stick? Where 
Richard, this is a bad idea. Oh, I'm a genius. Just try not to burn down the whole forest. I actually made fire. Then we put rope on the fire and then drop it down. I could put that in the basket, but it... Okay. Then My on. clothes aren't expensive. Get out of the way. I don't need that. A knitted basket. I don't want to remove the... Oh, we do. We do want to remove the wooden board right now, actually. Using this on the wooden... Okay, what is this? Nice. I've melted the wax. And did what with it? Call me a craftsman. I actually oh made myself God, a candle. I'm such a genius! <laughs> the candle smells like roses. It's like they knew we were coming. Wait, do we smell the candle or do we set it on fire? Set the candle on fire, dick. Now that I've lit the candle, I can put this out. I don't want to be responsible for a forest fire. Yes! Yes! It didn't take us like a year to figure that out, even though it could have. Alright, what kind of junk do we have here? Hmm, what's this? These two pieces of paper have some interesting symbols on them. They appear to be different languages, though. I wonder what they mean. Nothing else useful here. Nothing. Nothing. I think it's time to go to the library. It's library time, son. Leave the candle. You can have it. You're welcome. I don't recognize these symbols. But the internet might. Strange looking symbols. Okay, let's go to the internet. Might have to talk to Judy first. Might as well just go to Judy first. Look at this devil paper I found. I don't rec- God damn it. I didn't mean for you to look at it. Look, it's devil paper. Have you ever seen these? Nope. It's all Greek to me. What is it? Symbols. Oh, it's Greek! I don't <laughs> no, know what they stand kidding. for. <laughs> Sorry, can't help. Yeah, we're going to the library. Old lady, do you know what these symbols are? Oh, but I don't have my... Well, she she knows. She knows me. Contrary to popular... I'm sorry to bother you again. Can you tell me anything about these symbols? Why, of course. Oh, I'll leave it These to the old lady. She knows everything. Symbols, cuneiform, to be more precise. One of the oldest forms of writing. Wow. Confirmed. You really She's good stuff. Are you able to read them? <laughs> Hell no. I recognize what they are, but I have no idea how to read them. Useless. That's okay. Thank you anyway. This has been very helpful. Okay, this is helpful. Those symbols are Sumerian cuneiform. Cuneiform. Look into that. She said no cuneiform. No point in asking Judy for help with this. She's as much of a history buff as I am a sports fan. I'll do some research on my own. On the computer? Ah! What's your said? <laughs> Keyword: Sumerian. Let's see what this library has. Here's the most recent article, published a year ago. It says, from archaeology to psychiatry, Professor Dr. Cornelius Blake, Ph.D., a talented professor from St. George's University, is a well-known biologist. The professor's academic interests, however, extend beyond the biology courses he teaches at the university level. Blake's research in biology has made him a contender for the Nobel Prize, but he is also a historian and one of the nation's top experts on ancient Sumer and Egypt. He is one of a handful of people in the United States oh, God, capable of translating him. ancient Sumerian cuneiform. Cuneiform! Which he has several awards. <laughs> His accomplishments do not end there. He is also a brilliant mind in psychology and psychiatry. 
Most recently, he was part of a team from Washington Medical University that made historic breakthroughs in treating several challenging cases of schizophrenia. Hmm. Interesting. interesting. I should visit the university and talk to Professor Blake. If he can translate Sumerian symbols, that would be a huge help. My guess is this secret society uses this ancient language as a code of some kind. Stay on the flip side, old lady. Way to be knowledgeable and stuff. How convenient. He lives in a university near us. Dang, he's booking it inside there. Did you guys see him? He was f f going. Struggling with your bio research? Let me do it for you. Available for all types of research. Price is negotiable. 555-213-6897. Brian Kosloff. Cool. Oh, how convenient. He's in the first room we go into. What's up, Pam? Hello, Professor. Good afternoon. My name is Richard. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Who are I'm you? I'm a bit busy at the moment, but seeing as how you've already interrupted me, what can I do for you? Read this shit. I've read some very interesting things about you. Is that so? What about? You can read Kanea for work. You've published papers in an extraordinary number of fields. History, anthropology, biology, psychology. Oh, you exaggerate. I just helped with the translations. Once you know a language, you know it in every subject. And one time I helped a few people suffering from schizophrenia. That's all. Wow, that's still very impressive. It's an honor to speak to someone like you. Oh, please. Journalists like to pitch us as academic heroes so they can sell their articles. If they wrote about my Intro to Biology course, which I teach every day, no one would give a damn. You're too humble. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Give him the paper. Look at this. I'd like your help with something. I'll see what I can do, but you don't look like a student. My father was What's murdered. This about? I understand you can translate Old Sumerian text. Is that right? That's correct. I completed my dissertation on Sumerian literature during the Third Dynasty of Ur. But I'm sorry, I don't offer tutoring on the subject. I want tutoring, if you just want read to it. learn more about Sumerian language, you can buy my book, Forgotten Bro. Art and Literature in the Middle East. Translate. It's in the campus bookstore. Or die. Maybe another time. I'm only looking to translate one piece of paper. Can I see it? Yes. Here. <laughs> <Go. laughs> hmm. Interesting. It appears to be a particularly early form of Sumerian writing. And yet, it's been written on parchment less than 50 years old. Where did you get this? I'm sorry. That's a private matter. I'd rather Your not say. mama's house. <laughs> I'll pay you for the translation, of course. No, no, payment won't be necessary. I relish the opportunity to dig into texts I've never seen before. Hold on a moment. What is it? Sir, you must tell me where you got this. I'm sorry. I really can't. There's a hut in the woods. I just, I just need time to translate it. Of course. When can I come by to... If you'll excuse me... I really must get back to work. Just let me know when I should be. Yes, yes. Um, T a day or two. Back in a day or two. That's too long. Oh, okay. Thank you, Professor. Not a problem. Goodbye. That was weird. Why was he so upset about the parchment? Does he know something? Probably. What about this one? Can you tell me anything about these symbols? Quite striking, but it doesn't look like any human language I've ever seen. All right, thanks. All right, he's got something in here that I need. I can't just take it. Blake's watching. All right, we can hit him with some of this. Can you tell me anything about this? No, I... All right, damn it. I can't search. How can we make him not watch us? 
Okay, we'll be right back. He might leave when we come back. I better call Judy and have her check him out. Ah, yeah, we just had to leave. And he'll be gone by the time we come back. He's gonna take our paper and make a mad dash. Hi, what's up? Hey, Judy. Have you ever heard of Professor Cornelius Blake? Doesn't ring a bell. Look him up if you can. Already on it. What do you want to know? Looks like a successful academic. He's got degrees in science, history, literature, a lot of writing credits in journals, teaches college classes. You don't think he's one of the bad guys, do you? Oh yeah, he's a bad guy. No, not really. After I spoke to Crazy Mike, I started poking around and found a piece of parchment with symbols on it. Turns out it was written in ancient Sumerian. And kunai form. Okay, and? <laughs> and Blake is the only one who can translate the text. Oh my god, please get to the point. This is so Thank boring. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. I found the parchment in an old shack where <laughs> Crazy Mike made a deal with a man from a secret society. I think they're the ones responsible for these murders. Okay, I'm back in. When Blake saw the parchment, he started acting weird. Like he recognized Judy's it. Judy's the homie. Like he knew something. Interesting. What do you need from me? Take a closer look at him. I don't know, try hacking the campus closed circuit cameras or something. Drinking coffee right now? He takes it with milk and two sugars. Hold on. Hold on. Make that three sugars. Oh. Wow. You're too good. You're right. I am too good for you. Stop trying to butter me up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Thanks, Judy. Let me know if anything happens, okay? Oh, God. He's on his fourth pack of sugar. Are, th are those Splendas? Jesus. Judy. Jesus Christ, yeah, it's Jason yeah. Bourne. I'll call you if the boring old professor does anything. Thank you. Let's call it a day. I better get some rest. Oh, I'm actually going to go to bed? Okay, he's just sitting here still. Oh, Mr. Egghead mother. Let's go to bed. Alright, Judy, you gotta keep the scope out while I go to sleep and get some relaxation. I need you to keep eyes on Mr. Eggman. Alright, I need to get off my bed. Much it's needed bed rest. Time. You're gonna have to go somewhere else, sleep on the floor or something. <laughs> oh, we made some progress, boys. Lord. After that good one morning, puzzle, sweetheart. we've been doing pretty hey. good. You sound tired. You sleep alright? I guess. Well, actually, there was something I was thinking about last night. Aliens? What happened to you back then? You know, when you got all weird and. I... Patricia. I was sleeping with I my models. It's badass. It's been years and I was just a kid. I didn't know what was going on and... I've been afraid to ask you. I think about it a lot. You were like a different person. <laughs> it was scary, but I'm not a kid anymore. Whatever it is, I can handle it. No, you can't. Why are you so curious now? Mom mentioned it the other day and I started thinking about it again. I know I can be a pain in the ass sometimes, but I love you. We all care about you. Even oh. mom. She worries you're gonna end up as a drug addict or go crazy or something. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. The crazy. I don't do drugs. And I'm in a much better place now. I just had a bit of a crisis. That's all. It happens sometimes when you're older. Like a midlife crisis? When guys have a midlife crisis, they start drinking or gambling or they buy a Porsche. They don't well, they disappear for months or years. You cut yourself off from everyone. Even Judy didn't know what happened to you. I still don't see what you saw in her, smart ass bit. Watch your mouth. Whoa, anyway. yeah, you don't talk about Judy, Judy that is, way. Was that's the homie, a good friend of mine. <laughs> don't talk about her like that. I'm just glad you're not with her anymore. She was bossy. You never used to let anyone boss you around. I let you boss me around. I'm allowed to. I'm your daughter, and you're avoiding the question. What <laughs> happened? Can't you tell me? Oh. Yes, of course. Just not right now. I gotta go, okay, honey? Yeah, fine. Just trying to talk to the invisible dad. I'm sorry I haven't seen you much lately. I will soon. I promise. I just need time to figure something out. Don't worry, Dad. I'm used to it. I have to do my homework anyway. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, okay. All right. Hopefully Professor Blake has done some translating overnight. 
I should pay him a visit. Phone call. Do you have a moment? What is- Is everything- I just wonder if she was gonna say something different. I already- I don't want to- Alright. University. Oh my god, he's dead! What's up, fam? You got it figured out? Hello, Professor. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Were you able to translate the symbols? You need to give me more time what? than that. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. It's just very important to me. Well, I'm a very busy man. You'll just have to wait. When will you have time to translate it? I don't know. Maybe in a few days. He's already translated it. Can I take it for now, then? I'll bring it back once you have time. I'm sorry, but I left it at home. I see. All right. No problem. I'll come back another day. I'll let you work for now. Goodbye. Very well. Goodbye. Nah. Left it at home? My ass. Yeah. I bet he's already translated it and he knows something. I need to lure him out of the office and search the place. What's this? This is different. I can't just take it. Okay. We're going to cut the power to the building. And make him leave. Somehow. I really don't need to wander around. No, we do need to wander around. Are we? Power box. Genius. Fire alarm. It's closed. I'll open it. God, eh? <laughs> there was a loose wire. I didn't even have to pull very hard on it. Someone's been here before. There's nothing else I... What did that do for me? Nothing? Bro, I am so... Fucking confused right now. I'm getting hella frustrated. Here's a new one. I'm not able to attend today's lecture. My colleague, Mr. Oh, Smith, will thank take God. Over. In case of any problems, please contact me on my cell. 555 698 4777. Sincerely, Professor Cornelius Blake. Prank call, Tom, baby. What's up? Professor Blake! Get the fuck out of your office, bitch! <laughs> God damn it. You have to right-click the note, by the way. Professor Cornelius oh, Blake. Different note. Yes. Who is this? this is Kasha. My name is Jason Truman, one of your bio students. Something terrible happened in the classroom. Please, Professor, we need your help. <laughs> we need I'll your help. As soon as I can. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Got it him. Looked like a charm. Now I just need to find a place to hide. Genius, right in the middle of the hallway. He'll never find us there. No way. Uh, too bad I have the cable to open that damn door. <laughs> you thought you liked that door, son. What's up? Tee hee hee. <laughs> Easy. Just like the movies. Boom, ba doop, boom, boom. All right, I don't have much time. I'll look around quickly and get out of here. Hell no, we're gonna take all our damn time. Give me that. Hmm. Blood and skin samples. I better take it. Ah, and a piece of paper. I better take that too. Thank you. Look at that. He actually translated the symbols. Who would have guessed? I don't need any. Blake keeps his works. Wire cable it is, baby. It's locked. We know how to we know what to do about that. Works just like a chunk. Open the door what? That. Okay, goddammit. Key? Just student research in here. What? My clothes aren't a Jason, 
Just paperwork. Nothing useful. I'll just borrow this. Yeah, still his daughter picture. Hit him where it hurts. A picture of a. Wait a minute. There's a, There's key, a key in the back of the frame. Who would have done that? A d d d dumbass? Is that what d d d d dumbasses do? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm a d d d dumbass. I didn't just use the key. I would have figured he'd be like, oh, we got this key. We should use it. But no, you gotta actually tell him to do it. Gotcha. I unlocked the door. Yes. Let's see some Satan Cthulhu stuff. Oh, it's a top secret file. Give me that. Yeah. This appears to be Blake's diary. <laughs> or more of a work journal than a personal diary. Wow. It's incredibly detailed. Psychiatry. Biology, anthropology. This guy studies everything. Let me see if there's anything helpful in here. Hmm. This guy really knows his stuff. He's been working on three huge projects simultaneously. You have to admit his genius. This section seems focused on biology, even some history. He's very interested in Iran. I wonder what for. An old Sumerian civilization? Hmm. hmm. So this is why he was interested in my parchment. Let's see. Student biology research. Homework assignments. What's this? Here's something written in red. It says... Metaphobia? What the hell is that? It seems to be Blake's personal project. It's also Some the name of this of game. Independent research. Judging by the highlighted text, it looks important. Whoa. This is strange. Superior race taking over. Telepathic communication. Hallucinations, delusions, insomnia. What is this? This doesn't look like a university project. There are lots of symbols similar to those from the parchment. Are my symbols somehow related to his research? This is why Blake acted so strangely when I showed him the parchment. According to this, he not only knows about this secret society, he's also working on exposing them. Blake either went crazy, or he's onto something big. But why would someone with his <laughs> IQ believe in a conspiracy theory? What if, just maybe, Crazy Mike wasn't that crazy after all? His delusions and hallucinations might have been caused by something Blake is trying to uncover. Not the lizard people. Reptilians. What the hell are reptilians? Some kind of lizard cult or something? Here he's drawn sketches of humanoids. They're like lizard human mutants. Come on. Does Blake really believe in this? And how is this connected to the deaths of all those politicians? And what is metaphobia? Hmm. Here's something. Dang lizard According people. to Blake, it's a phenomenon when one's mind changes as a result of high telekinetic frequencies. This phenomenon is often mistaken for schizophrenia. But Blake sought to prove the existence of metaphobia. His primary patient was a man named Stuart Winkelstein. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia, but Blake was convinced he suffered from metaphobia. Wait a minute. This name rings a bell. Stuart Winkelstein. Winkelstein. Hmm. hmm. I remember now. I remember now. He yeah. was a successful politician from a different political party than my father's, but he had similar goals. Like all the other victims. There's a weird connection between these cases. But what does it all mean? Mm -hmm. Stuart Winkelstein mysteriously disappeared more than seven years ago and Blake couldn't find out what happened to him. According to Blake, this lizard cult somehow screws with people's minds in order to control them. In most cases, the human mind is too fragile to withstand the pressure, and they suffer from metaphobia. Long story short, they become delusional and go mad because of the high level of unnatural frequencies in their brains. When someone suffers from metaphobia, they are highly delusional. They suffer from hallucinations and tend to claim that he or she knows that the human race is doomed. He also mentions a museum in Iran called the Shant Magorian Museum. 
Apparently the only one in the world that has an exhibition about mysticism in Sumerian culture. There aren't many details, but he highlighted Sumer and Iran. Sumerian. He's also sketched a few symbols, which are very similar to the ones I gave him. And what is this? He claims there is a book in this Iranian museum Sumerian. that details old Sumerian culture and their connection to this cult. The book is called The Draconium. Sounds demonic. He wrote, The Draconium is the answer, right underneath the text. This must be really important. What the hell is going on? This has to be connected to my father's death. But a cult? A secret society? Why would they want my father dead? Why not? He also mentioned some kind of secret island, but there isn't much information. I should check out the museum Blake mentions in this journal. It must have some information about all this madness. Man, this case is getting out of hand. I better take this journal with me. Better go quick, he says. Fucking sits there and monologues for like <laughs> 30 minutes. Gotta get out of here quick! Whoa, run away! He's booking it, son. Ah, oh, it doesn't give him the option. Let's look at this, that he's translated. translated Sumerian symbols. Dagger man, blood, big hand, demon, mountain, temple, god, goblet, snake, create, sun, cattle, cut, mouth, transform, water. So that probably goes with something else. Do these symbols match up to any of those symbols? Sumerian symbols? No, they don't. Blake's personal journal. Blake's. Blood and skin samples I found in Blake's office. I should take a closer look at them. But how? I know okay. where. We called. What's his face? Kosolov. What's up, fam? I got money. Hello? Hello. Hi. I'm calling about the note you posted in the university. Oh, yeah. What do you need help with? I have a blood and skin sample I need processed. Would you be able to help? Hell yeah, dog. Yeah, no problem. It'll cost you between 50 and 100 bucks, depending on what kind of research we're talking about. That's fine. I'm not on campus right now. Can you meet me in the city library? Hell yeah, my dude. Sure, no problem. Cool. See you soon. Goodbye. Easy. Man, I haven't read a book. No, I clicked him. What's up, dude? Hi. Are you Brian Kosloff? The one and only. You the guy who called before? God, he looks older than me. Yeah. Jesus. So what can I do for you? Uh, this. I'd like some research done on these blood and skin samples. I want to know everything there is to know about them. Blood type, skin tone, age, everything. And let me know if you find anything out of the ordinary. Diseases, chemicals, whatever it might be. All right, I'll give it a shot. It'll cost you a hundred bucks. Okay. <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you. I'll call you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Someone is calling me. Oh, it's a bling bling. Judy. Hey, Judy. How do I know? Richard, something terrible. The doctor had a heart attack. What are you talking about? Biology professor you asked me to watch? Yeah, yeah. Professor Cornelius Blake? Heart attack because I took yeah, his picture. Yeah, what happened? He's just been killed. What? What? That can't be. I just spoke to him. I don't know what happened, but please keep your eyes open. I can't believe it. Keep me updated if you hear anything else. I will. What's going on? What happened to Professor Blake? If they were onto him, they may be onto me as well. I should lay low for now. 
These people could be anywhere. I don't even know who they are. I'll go home and rest. This is getting intense. They have my daughter. That's why she's been here the whole time, so she could be kidnapped and used as leverage against me. Why wouldn't she? She's gone. My house is supposed to be there. All this commotion oh, about Professor cool. Blake has me exhausted. <laughs> I should call it a day. Easy. We were the last people that talked to him. We're prime suspects. Why? Good morning, honey. You got some dumbass questions for me again today? Lord, I hate this city. There's nothing to do. I don't know anyone. How can you live here? Go outside. It's a city, Patricia. There are a million things you can do. When I finish my work, I'll take you out and show you all the great things this city has to offer. We'll go to a museum or an art exhibition. Oh, we can do that. Like we used to. When you finish your work, you always have work. Mysterious <sighs> secret work you won't tell anyone about. I'll tell you once it's all sorted out. Does this have something to do with Grandpa's No. Team? What? Absolutely not. How do you know that? I can just tell. Uh, kind of easy to read, you know that? Yeah, definitely Is when there you a tell problem her. with the inheritance? You should talk to mom if you need money. <laughs> I don't need money. It has nothing to do with that. It's something else related to your grandfather. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Wow, Gandalf with the cryptic messages. Whatever. Keep your secret. I don't care. I gotta go study for a test. God, I can't wait for winter break. Well, if you get good grades, I'll take you out somewhere nice for your break. I always get good grades. I always get yeah, good grades. For that. God dang yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> She bye. pisses me off tonight, no end. Someone is calling me. Is it Judy? No, it's that one dude. Castle Lock, hello. Brian? Hey, I did some research into those samples you gave me. If it's okay, can we meet again at the library? Perfect. I'll head over there in a few minutes. He kind of looks like a lizard Great. person. I'm here now. See you soon. You can't trust him. The cops are gonna be there or something. Something bad's about to happen. I can feel it. Oh no, he's by himself. That's why I thought you better come Man, by yourself. I have... Bro, we clicked the chunker, dude. Hello. So what did you find out? Look, man, I don't know what kind of weird shit you're into, but I don't want to be a part of it. What do you mean? Don't play stupid. The blood is half human DNA and half some kind of lizard DNA. The skin has scales like a fish or a snake, but not like any animal I've ever seen. Hmm. Are you serious? Who are you? You doing some kind of secret government test on humans? No, no, you don't under- That's messed up, man. It's not right. Just take it and leave. If anyone asks, we never met. Got it? I'm out of here. Smart man, smart man. This is really getting strange. Could this secret society be experimenting with lizard DNA? I'm not sure where to look next. Professor Blake mentioned a mysterious island in his journal, but he doesn't say where it is. Judy would know. That's the only clue I've got right now. I oh. guess I have to book a flight to Iran to check that museum out. Holy crap, we're going to actually fly to Iran? <laughs> Lord Almighty. Alright, girl. He's going to not see his daughter for a couple of days. Go to Judy's, I guess. Hey, I need I to go. To... What do you mean? Let's call the dead dude's he phone. Don't answer the phone anymore. <laughs> I wonder why. Let's ask her if she wants to go to Iran. Hey, old girl, you want to go to Iran? And Iran, Iran. So do you have a moment, sweetheart? What is, is everything all ah, useless? My daughter. How do I get a flight to Iran? Blake's personal journal. The pressure can change a person. Blake also. Brian told me the blood. The translated Sumer. Maybe I need to take that to the blood to what's her name. That's what we need to do. Money for nothing. Look at this! Lizard blood! What do you think about these? What is that? They're a blood and skin sample. Ew. God, Richard. Why do you have that? 
I found it in Blake's office. And you think this is what, a clue? Maybe. Well, good luck. I'm not touching that. This is fascinating. I found Blake's personal journal. It's mostly academic research, but there's a section that details a bizarre theory. If it's true, he claims he can prove the existence of reptilians. Reptilians? Yeah. Blake writes they're an alien race of humanoid lizards that supposedly control the world. You don't actually believe this, do you? No, I mean, it's crazy, right? He claims that these reptilians use their telepathic powers to enter our minds. They control mm. us like puppets, but not everyone's brain is capable of receiving telepathic frequencies. Some people just go insane and doctors diagnose them as schizophrenics. And Blake believes this? Wow, just goes to show you. You never truly know a person until you read their creepy secret diary. But how do I go to freaking what's it called? Museum. Damn it. Maybe I got a book of flight on the computer. Oh yeah, I got an old phone. Let's do that. Duh! Duh! Let's see if I can get a flight to Iran. At least I didn't Jesus, take Jesus, that's pricey. Well, I can't turn back now. So much for my savings. One round trip to Iran it is. Here we go. Let's head to the airport. Here we go. Leave our daughter. You better call Patricia. Okay. Hey, I'm going to Iran. See you on the flip side. Yeah? Patricia, listen to me. What is it, Dad? I need to go out of town for a few days. This is very important. Just say you're seeing your girlfriend. It's fine. No, listen to me. I'm serious. It has to do with your grandfather's death. I'm sorry, I can't tell you more. Just be safe. Don't go anywhere by yourself. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dad, why won't you tell me what's going on? I'll explain later, I promise. Just be careful, okay? Don't and tell your please, mama, son. don't tell your mother. I'm 17, Dad, not five. I'm not a snitch. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Whatever it is you're doing. I'm fighting lizard people. Hi. Ah, it's a plane cutscene. Let's freaking ride, boys. Just up to not to Iran. He's already got his passport and everything. Dude was ready. What's up, random dude? Damn. I'm lost. These streets are like a maze. I'd better ask around and find out where the museum is. Where's the museum? Excuse me, kid. What? Hey. 100 reals, please. No, I ain't got no reals. I wipe your shoes, you give me money. Are uh, you fucking wrong? Sorry, I don't have any reals. Only American dollars. No dollars, only rias. Too bad. Listen, kid, can you just tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? No money, no talking. Damn, how am I supposed to get rials for the kid? Or we can pull out our knife. Hey there, can you tell me something? No. Fuck your money, you little shitter. Please tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is. I'm sorry, sir. I'm not from this town. I only sell fruits and vegetables here in the market. Hmm. I don't even know there was a museum. Try asking some of the locals. I will. Thank you. How's business going for you? 
Not so well, actually. Why is that? See that fat man over there? <laughs> he pisses me off. Why? Why? He is always trying to scare away my customers. Inarma! Inarma! Sir, do you think you can change some US dollars into local reals for me? I can't find an exchange office. Perhaps, but first you need to help me. I need to destroy oh. the fat man. See that fat man with a skull on his face by the butcher's stand? Yeah? That man is a fraud in Kukicha. He is trying to destroy my business so that he doesn't have any competition. But that doesn't make any sense. You sell different goods. Can't your customers shop at both stands? A normal person would think that, yes. But he only sees money. Any rile spent on my produce is a rile they could have spent on his meats. You see, meat is expensive in these parts. Many of my customers buy only fruits and vegetables because that is all they can afford. I see. But if he can't keep people away from my stand, they'll spend what little they have at his. Just yesterday he was yelling all over the market that my vegetables are full of poisonous chemicals. What a lie! My vegetables are pure. What? They are grown from local farms. Sure. So what do you want from me? I need you to somehow uh, tamper with his stand. Say no more, crazy? fam. I got props. That's illegal. Believe me, it's for the greater good. Most sellers in the market would be thankful if you managed to get rid of that awful man. All right, I'll try. Seems like Thank a mission you, for Proxide. Thank you. I'll come back later. As you wish, sir. Is there anything we I'm want? Not What's up, fam? Just before I mess up your Excuse stuff, me, sir. Proxide. Um, no thank you. <laughs> I'm not touching... Oh, ah! Green mold. Thank God. I guess no one... Give me that. I scraped a bit of green mold off the wall. Oh, it smells horrible. Perfect. Ooh. Science, baby. We done it. Now the shit's green flavored. I've done it. Look, you can see it from here. The meat he's selling is covered in mold. I see. Just a moment. Zargon Pissar. He's doing magic. Oh, he's about to go fight him. Negakonid. What'd you call him? Nifrashad. Gee. Ah. Instead of Rafata of that. Gomshad Grinja. To hog what cast he? Casting some kind of magic spell on him. <laughs> ah, damn it. No time. Give me my reals. Okay, I did my part. Can you change my dollars into reals now? Of course, my friend. Here you are. Thank God. And here's an extra thanks. Take this cheese bar. My friend gave it to me, but I hate smelly cheese. You Americans love it, don't you? I love cheese. Yeah, I do actually. Thank you. What a homie. Enjoy the rest of your visit. This means God be with you. You too, bro. Thanks. Goodbye. Yes. I don't know why it took so long to get that, find that green mold. It did seem like it was highlight. I must have missed it with my mouse like 40 times. Alright, we got reals, bro. We got tons of reals. Hello there. Hello, sir. You're back. Yes, I have them right here in my pocket. But you're gonna tell me where the damn museum is first. What do reals look like? Oh, here we go. Hello there. Hello, sir. Alright, kiddo. Here you go. A hundred reals. Now would you tell me where the Shant Magorian Museum is? 
You go down here, then right. At the end of the long street, turn left and right again. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Punk. Well, we found it by going back. Is this hotel? What is this place? Hello. I know Hello you there, like cheese friend. bar. What are you doing? Waiting for my friend. She went into the city to get some lunch. Why are you waiting here? I like it here. I can feel the winds of ancient history blowing through my hair. <laughs> I see. Who? You sound a. Yeah, I'm from Utah. What a coincidence. Two Americans meeting all the way out here. It's not that strange. This museum attracts people from all over the world. Especially if you're studying reptilian theory. At least, it's famous with my people. The Utah people? What do you mean by your people? The Utahians. Oh, right. I'm from the WOC. The World Order Club. What's that? It's exactly the opposite of what it sounds like. We don't want to conquer the world. We want to stop others from doing it. Oh, we're on the same team. We try to solve, as you people call them, conspiracy theories in order to bring peace and healing to the world. That's why I'm here. I'm researching the reptilians, and this museum is the only one in the world with information on them. I'm actually here for the reptilians, too. Really? You don't look like the kind of guy who'd be into that. You're not one of those people trying to disprove their existence, are you? No. I'm here for personal reasons. Oh my god. Have you met one? Well, no, but... What did it look like? What did it do to you? How did you... I never met one. Like I said, it's personal. We're gonna kill this him. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You need to tell me everything. No, it's personal. All I can say is they might have had something to do with my father's death. I'm so sorry to hear that. All right, man. I'll respect <laughs> your privacy. I'm here because I'm hoping to bring home enough evidence to prove that they exist. I even bought a brand new camera just for this trip. Too bad you can't use it in the museum. Uh. What do you know about the reptilians? Most famous people and world leaders are reptilians who have shape-shifted to human form. They manipulate human minds and control them like puppets. Some say they ruled long before the first humans and that they created us to be their slaves. Others say they came to our planet and enslaved us. What do you think? I think they made us. Back home, most people don't believe they exist. They'd tell you that you're crazy. He doesn't care what you they think. You know why people don't believe these theories? They only accept what they can see and touch. They need to expand their minds, man. Man. Like, just because you've only seen aliens in the movies doesn't mean they're not real. They're out there, man. Oh, he's that guy that... So the reptilians are aliens? Sure. They came to Earth from somewhere else. Sounds like an alien to me. Of course, there are a lot of people who think humans are aliens, too. But that's a different story. Okay. All right. See you around. Thanks, See man. ya. Might have to give him a cheese bar so we can advance. Let me in. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. Welcome to the Shanmagoria Museum of History and Archaeology. What can I do for you? That's a cool fountain over there. Can you tell me how long this museum has been here? Why, of course, sir. The museum was established in 1864 with funding from the Ministry of Culture. And there's a lot here, isn't there? Oh, yes. You'll notice the building has been divided to cover different topics. There's the prehistoric wing, a section devoted to each of the ancient civilizations such as the Sumerians and the Akkadians. Then there's a wing dedicated to modern Iranian history. I've heard you have a Sumerian mysticism section. Oh yes, of course. Uh, that's one of the main exhibitions. You'll find it in the Sumerian history. A legend has it that supernatural entities ruled the world from the beginning of human history and that the Sumerians praised them as gods. That's just a myth, of course. Mm. Though, for whatever reason, it's caught on with quite a few conspiracy theories. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. Goodbye. Have a nice day. You too. 
I am sorry, sir. The museum is not free to enter. God damn it. I understand. What do you want for me to enter? He gave me a... Here, take my reals. I would like to buy a ticket. All right, sir. Uh, the ticket Whoa. costs 100,000 reals. Do I have... Here you are, oh, okay, sir. I Enjoy. guess 100,000 reals Thanks. is probably like 100 bucks, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what the conversion rate is, but that seems like a lot of money just to be given up. Ah. I shouldn't touch that. What's up, fam? Excuse me, sir. Can I... If you have any questions about the exhibition, ask the receptionist or go to the information center. All right. Good afternoon. Salam, Marjavin. Hmm. Same. Excuse me, sir. Can I? Lord Ban, be mankari na dari dobushid amri ego. It's impossible okay. for the same. What's that sound? An alarm? Sir, please do not touch the exhibits. Sorry. There's an alarm box on the wall. I have to get the code and disarm it. Excuse me, sir. If you have any... All right. I better be careful. Can you tell me... Stop asking. This is a dick. Hey, I need you to f frickin' the alarm the code hi hey man that's a really nice camera thanks it's a titan hdr x 2044 ultra hd i bought it on black friday half off this baby can record 500 frames per second in the highest quality possible nice too bad you can't take pictures in the museum would i be able to borrow it you seem like a nice enough guy but like i said you can't use it here anyway. That's all right. Don't worry. I'll find a way to not get caught. All right. But please be careful. And while you're at it, take some pictures for me, too. Sure. Thank you very much. All right. See you around. That See was ya. easy. I thought I was going to have to give him that cheese bar. These brochures have a lot of information about ancient Sumer including simple cuneiform translations. For example, the words big and snake make dragon, or mouth and water makes to drink. Hmm. I don't need to talk. He gave me enough inf- It doesn't work without a coin. The vending machine only- Do we have a coin? I don't think so. A brochure. Not at all. Hmm. Confused. I don't need a. Oh God. I always wanted to do this. What are we doing? Splashing it? I just hope it doesn't bring me bad luck. Ah, oh, we got the coin from a genius. Good job, man. <laughs> Let's go back. Hey. I bought a bottle of fresh water. The only thing I could afford with that Iranian coin. I got an idea. I don't... I got an idea. I got an idea. Ooh, he's thirsty. That guard is thirsty, I can tell. And he's gonna drop that piece of paper when I give him a drink. It's genius. There's no way this doesn't work. Thirsty, son? Can you tell me anything? Stop asking. All right, Dick. Oh, no, I accidentally... Oh. No need for a message in a bottle. I'm not that lost yet. Ah. I don't want to get that wet. I don't want to eat that. It looks... I don't 
don't need a picture. That's not a bad idea, but how am I going to get a good shot of the guard entering the code? Like this? Sir, please do not touch the... Sorry. Take the picture! Take the picture! Take the picture! That's not a... I better not show this camera to... I don't need... Son of a bitch. I don't want... I don't want to... I don't need a... I don't... I don't... I don't need a... Hey, don't put that camera there, sir! Sorry. Oh, this time he let me put it there. What bullshit. He told me not so to put it there. Not touch the okay, god dang it, whatever. Sorry. I was like, oh, if he told me not to put it there once, there's no way he lets me keep it there. Okay, it's recording right now. Oh, now I gotta do it again. <laughs> Lord almighty. So yeah, recording please not stuff. touch the exhibits. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. I'm sure he's scared of mices. I hope the camera recorded the guard's hand typing in the code. I'm so pissed. Like, I actually tried to put it there, and he's like, You can't leave the camera there. Why would he let me leave it there the second time? Like, it, I don't understand. I don't want to eat that. I don't want to get too... Why would... I don't... Hmm, I think I've got an idea. I'll put the cheese in this woman's purse. Let's see what happens. Okay. Genius! That was a purse? I thought that was a freaking chunky shoulder. Ah! Yeah. Jack Moosh! Jack Moosh! Azizaman. Chishad. Komak. Komak. <laughs> oh, please get out of the museum. Grab the book and run. The book is ours. God. Hey, bro, I'm gonna give you your camera back. So the game doesn't tell me I'm still in it. Lord Almighty. As promised, here's your camera back. Ah. <sighs> God. I hope you didn't break it, man. I did, That's man. Really Take a look. I'll check it out. Looks good to me. Thanks, man. I'll see you later, man. I, don't know where to go. I, I guess we can read the book now. Wow, I can't believe I actually managed to get the draconium. There's a lot in here. Mostly written in ancient Arabic. What I've managed to translate mostly with the help of illustrations and other languages, is that this reptilian nonsense was actually something ancient civilizations believed in. They worshipped the reptilians and feared them. It's a strange book, though. Some pages are written in Latin, and there are even a few pages in German and English. I wonder who wrote it. It doesn't appear to be that old. Maybe 300 years old at the most. What's this? Looks like a poem. There are also two small maps here. One shows a location near here. An ancient temple of some kind. It's probably just a ruin now, but I should still check it out. What about this other map? Wait a minute. This is the island Blake mentioned in his journal. So it must exist. It's less than 50 miles outside my city. This case is far more complex than I could have ever imagined. But I can't stop now. Yay. The puzzle pieces are finally starting to fit together. Let's go back home. All right. I should check out the ruins nearby which are mentioned in the ancient book. Oh, God. Maybe I'll find something there. Yeah. This place is breathtaking. You can feel the history in the air. I can only imagine what it looked like when this mighty civilization was at its peak. These ruins must be thousands of years old. 
It's strange that there are so few tourists around here, though. There are probably nicer places to go in this area. There are symbols here, but they're difficult to see. An artistic soul in human flesh. I got an idea. Pour water on it. Go define it. Uh huh. I need a clear method if I want to push the buttons in the right. Look at that. I've uncovered some ancient symbols. Oh god. They look very similar to those on the parchment. It's the cuneiform again. Not the cuneiform. Anything but the cuneiform. The translated Sumerian symbols. Wow. Oh man, I don't know. Strange looking symbol. Wow, ancient symbol. What about the puzzle? This is interesting. I recognize the symbols on the buttons. <sighs> They're also on the parchment, but what's the right order to press them? I don't fucking know. I need a clear method if I want to... I need a... Man. I need a... Is that not the method we're... These ruins must be thousands of years old. These ruins... These ruins... These ruins. These ruins. These. Ru All these things say the same thing. God dang it. These. These ru None of these symbols appear. Huh. Back in yes. Okay. Now I should be able to push the buttons in the right order. Yes. God. Where's God? Oh, I think for certain words you have to hit multiple symbols, which is actually fucking super tilting. Yeah. God, that is actually tilting. Wait a second. Oh, man. Frustration my station. My clothes. It is, is it not good enough that I picked up all the things? You gotta get me to press all the buttons, too. God. Hand? Do I need to hit anything else before I hit this one? I don't know. Seems like there's a line down there, but we're just gonna act, hope that, that I don't have to hit that. Hand created, which would be... Water. And then mountains is something different. What is mountains? Mountains. And the sun. And the sun. Man is the cattle. And I think cattle's like a multi one too. I think cattle. Yes, we have this sucker and then that sucker. For the gods. Please work. Where's gods at? Yes, Lord. Incredible. It actually worked. <sighs> poem was the key. Yeah, you have like two things that have two pieces. This cattle and create. You have to actually hit the two pieces that would match up to make it. It's a what genie lamp. This place. Oh, I bet no one has been in here for centuries. The stench of mold is overwhelming. Yeah, I feel overwhelmed. Grab that scroll so this whole thing can start falling apart. There are no hidden switches here. Are you sure? Cutscene, baby. What the hell? Are these pictures of lizard human hybrids? The humans are their slaves and worship them as gods. Odd that none of these pictures are displayed in the museum. Almost as though someone wants to hide them. Like the guy in the museum said, most people think reptilians are a myth. No more real than any other gods worshipped by ancient civilizations. They don't bother to seek out the truth. And it seems more and more that the truth may be very strange.
So there are no. Let's read the scroll thing. There's a poem written on here. The demons dwell in temples of darkness. Cut the dragon with the dagger in his hand. Drink his blood from the goblet to transform. What does it mean? Hmm. Cut him. I don't think. Okay, that's enough of that. Skip it. See y'all later. I think I got what I needed. I should head back to the airport and see if I can get a flight home. Yeah. With our unlimited money. Oh, back to America. Thank the Lord. We don't need our reals anymore or anything. Oh, that was quite the trip. Oh, oh shit. God. What happened here? Look at this mess. What happened to your daughter, maybe? That's probably the Jesus. Best. Where's, Where's Patricia? Patricia? <laughs> oh well, see you, Patricia. That's her phone. She left her suitcase behind. Someone must have taken her. No I shit. I should call Judy right away. She's the only one who can find Patty. Judy's not picking up either. We have your girlfriend and your daughter. Damn it. She didn't answer. That's strange. Maybe something happened to her as well. Oh, she backstabbed me. She's the only one that would have known where Patty is I'll or who I am. Is. It's Patricia's. F I don't know where to go. Oh, God. I don't want to touch that. Oh, God. It's written in blood. We see you. Who are you? What do you want? Okay, Richard. Focus. You managed to get this far. You must be getting close. They went through everything. I'll clean that. They went through everything. Let's see. Wow, I can't ancient sip. Maybe. What about this other map? A puzzle piece. There's a poem written. I'll leave that there. I don't know where to go. I know where to go. My old friends Chet Baker and Miles Davis. Pure geniuses. I'll clean that later. They went through everything. I already took a shower. I don't... I would... Pouring hydrogen peroxide. Pouring hydro Why would I I don't know, man. I don't think I need to call him. Try to call one more time. Is that a piece of paper in front of the door? Okay, let's check that one so we get done trying to call her, even though she's not going to pick up. Yes! Goodness gracious. Meet us here at 12.59 p.m. letter I found under my door. I'll open it. Good idea! Wow! It says, I have the answers you seek. Let me help you. Meet me in the alleyway on Royal Street. Please, hurry. Your friend. You're not my friend. This person who wants to meet in the alleyway might be my only hope. We should bring a gun! Who's this weirdo? Man in a black suit. Hey. He's gonna telepath at us. Are you... Yes. The man who sent you the letter. And you are... Richard. I am Richard. How do you know who I am? Where's my daughter? What happened to Judy? I can't say too much. All I can tell you is where you need to go. Who are you? That doesn't matter. 
All you need to know is that you and I are in the same situation. What do you mean? They did the same thing to my family. What? So, they exist. This is all real. It isn't just a nightmare. It is more real than you could have ever imagined. What happened to your family? They kidnapped my son many years ago. I haven't stopped looking for him, and I haven't lost faith. I will find him one day. I'm so sorry. Why did they take him? They wanted to punish me. I was once a very influential man. Should I know you? I didn't have that kind of influence. No one knew who I was. I had something greater. An ability. I was powerful. Powerful enough to make them afraid. They saw what I was doing, and they cut me off from my abilities. Hmm. No but who are you? What were you doing? I dabbled in, let's say, illegal business. But not anymore. Hmm. I don't understand. Why are you helping me? I won't lie, Richard. My reason is simple and selfish. You are my last hope for finding my son. I don't know anything about your son. But you're getting close to finding the monsters who took him. Closer than I ever got. I've been stuck in a dead end for a long time now. And yet you claim you can help me? I know something very important. I believe you've heard of the island. Yeah, I found out I how have. to get there. It exists? Yes. I know where it is and how to get there. You must go there to save your daughter. Have you been there? Is that where your son is? I have seen this island but never set foot on it. My son is there though. I can feel it. Why do I have to go if you're not Why haven't you gone to the island yeah. yourself? There was a time when I could have, but not anymore. It would be suicide without my abilities. I have no abilities. So why would I go there? You're different. Your mind is more powerful than you know. Save your daughter while you can. And save my son. Please. Alright. How do you know my daughter is there? Don't you get it, Richard? They want you. They are using your daughter as bait. What? Okay. Why? Open your eyes. Have you ever wondered why you're still alive? Why is it they can get away with killing powerful, well-protected politicians, but they can't kill one simple man? A man just trying to prove they exist? Honestly, I don't know. They chose not to. They know that you know. They know that you are not a simple man. You are something else. They do not kill for fun or for sport. They only kill those who won't do their bidding. Like my father? He actually spoke to them? Of course. They offered him his life in exchange for his servitude. He refused their offer, and they killed him. He was a brave man, even at the end. I can't believe this. You must go, save your child, and bring mine back to me. But it's a trap. You said so yourself. Not if you are ready for them. There is no other way to save Patricia. What about Judy? I haven't been able to get a hold of her. Is she there too? I'm sorry. I don't know anything about your friend. She's Here, one of them. Take this key. It's for my boat in the city docks. The first boat on the left side of the landing stage. Alright, thanks man. You have the map. Sail to the island, and you will find their headquarters. From there, you are on your own. You will be watched from the moment you step on the island. Okay. Be careful. Be vigilant. You will find your daughter there, and perhaps your friend as well. Thank you very much for your help. Don't forget my son. Have you ever heard of a condition called... Metaphobia? Hmm. Have I? Do you think you're the only person who knew what Professor Blake was up to? You know him? Of course. Professor Blake provided me crucial information about the reptilians. He was one of the select few who studied them. Remember, I have been searching for answers for a long time. Well, 
I can't say Blake wanted to help me. I asked him to translate a strange parchment I found, and that was practically the last I ever heard of him. And then he died. That was no coincidence. Hmm. How do you know about his death? I've been watching Professor Blake, and I've been watching you. Then you know I had nothing to do with Blake's death. Yes, I know. He was on the brink of revealing his metaphobia theory to the world. The parchment you gave him was the final piece of the puzzle. They had no time to craft a cover story for his death. It had to be quick. The cold-blooded monsters just blew his brains out. How do you know all of this? I have my ways. There's one other thing I don't understand. Why is it that you and I don't suffer from metaphobia? Why haven't they contacted us telepathically yet? It's not that simple. Not everyone's mind is susceptible to telepathic waves. According to Blake's notes, only 70% of the population can be reached this way. The other 30%, like you and I, have an inherent mental defense against their powers. Blake called it varying telepathy wave frequency. It's a hereditary ability passed down through your genes. We are special, Richard. You and I. We can resist them. All right. I'm leaving for the island. Hurry. There is no time to waste. I hope you find your daughter. Good luck, my friend. All right. Thank you for everything. They just swag walks off. Okay. No rush. To the island! I think I'm in the right place. That boat over there should be the one. Who are these people? Excuse me. I'd like to get to my boat. Oh, check out this guy, boys. Mr. Big Shot needs to get to his boat. <sighs> he looks like a rich Wall Street rat to me. <laughs> these voices. So you said it, Sniffy. I bet he's got a fat wallet. Now I'm broke. Great. Wanna be street thugs. Just what I needed. Time to use that knife. Watch your head. mouth, ratty. Please. I just need to get by. I don't have anything of value on me. Nothing you want. Hey, asshole. Who said we want to rob you? Yeah. That hurts my feelings, I'm man. I'm not real hurt your feelings you don't get out of my way. I'm an artist. I'm just trying to get to the... Shut up. You shut up. Alright, that's about enough of this. Welcome to the pain. I'm a pacifist. No, oh, you can. I'm a pa- Oh. Chemistry. I mixed the pills with the peroxide and got a weird substance. There you go. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have fun. Here. Try some of this. It'll expand your mind. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Give me that shit. There you go. Delicious. Whoa. Hey man, leave some for me. Yeah man, make sure you leave some for him. Uh. Rip. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that scumbags! They'll have a hell of a hangover in the morning. They're not dead. I better not. They'll have a. I need the key. I have the key. What are you talking about? Punks. At least I finally figured out what the peroxide goes to. It must be drawing upon the climax after playing this game for four hours. Four and a half hours. Gosh. I wonder how long the video will be when I remove all the parts with me getting stuck on it. Probably like three, two or three. Oh, excuse me. I don't think the poem in the dr Okay. A uh, different poem. Hooray. Yes. Now I should be able to push the buttons in the right order. Demons. Oh god, that one's fancy. Maybe it's mouthwater. 
Give me, uh, give me one second. I'm gonna get a piece of paper and pencil, and I'm probably gonna take a break while I get something to eat real quick. I've been playing this game for like five hours now. No book and paper. I'm about to figure this out. Oh my god. Let's see. Demons. So demons is. I really, after looking at it, really can't think the dragon would be part of it. A brochure I got from the museum. Oh my it gives god. You of the Sumerian language. Including basic Cuneo Mouth plus water. Oh, I'm so pissed. Fuck this brochure. Oh my fucking god. That's what I thought, right? Water mouth? Is that not what I have? Go open that shit back up. Open that damn brochure. Big snake. Gives an overview of the Sumerian language, including basic Dragon. Big snake. The words big plus snake equals dragon. And mouth plus water drink equals to drink. Mouth water. I, I think I've already tried this. I'm pretty sure I have. Let's do it again. Let's look at this. Ah, oh, bitch. I had that. Okay, well, let's see. Mouth. Let's see. Where's drink? I have fourth row, second column, which is that, which I believe is mouth. I still believe that's mouth. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. And then we have fucking water. I have third row, fourth column, fifth column, third row, fifth column. That's water. Yep, got that. Third row, fifth column. Yep. And then we have big snake, which I believe is fourth row, first column. That's big, right? Yeah, it looks like big to me. Snake, second row, first column. Yes, yes, that is what I have. Let's try it one more time just to see what happens. I gotta be fucking missing something. Wait a second. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, I think I got it! This... is not the same as this. Ha! Ah, this is for transform, this is for hand. Can you fucking believe it? Oh, 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 oh. oh fuck me. Alright. Second row, fourth column. We're just gonna put one temple this time. Just because I wanna see if it's because darkness. I just wanna see if it's because the hand. This is different. These two are different. <laughs> That'd be so fucking dirty. I just did darkness last, so cut would be next. Dragon is fourth row, first column. And then second row, first column. And then dagger is third row, third column. And is this one. Drink is fourth row, second column. Third row, fourth, fifth column. Blood. From the goblet. Fourth row, fourth column. First row, first column. Transform. First row, fifth column. And... Where's the last part? Uh, fourth row, second column. Oh, oh, you motherfucker! Why would you put two symbols that are like exactly the same? Oh, this creator pissed me off so bad. Oh, oh, oh. 
I'm so wow. fucking. What is this place? I'm so fucking. I've never seen anything like it before. Fucking a. What's up, old man? Hello. Aliens. What? Are you my father? Oh my god. Who are you? Are you all right? Please leave me alone. I can't take any more. Kind of looks like your dad, dude. Don't worry. I'm not here to hurt you. No! Another disguise. Another face. Why do you do this to me? You already know everything. Why do you keep me here? Just kill me now. Put me out of my misery. Or let me be. I don't want to hurt you. I'm looking for my daughter and my friend. Nothing but another trick. You can't fool me! If I were one of them, I would just take you away. Why would I bother talking to you? Maybe you can help me. But... but how did you find this place? How did you get in? Because I'm a genius, It bro. wasn't easy, but I managed. What is this place? It looks like a spaceship, but I have no idea where we are. I assumed long ago aliens had abducted me. When I was a child, I dreamt of meeting intelligent life outside our planet. <laughs> what cruel, terrible creatures they are. They barely care about me now, though. I expected them to run all sorts of tests and experiments on me, but they never did. They still visit me occasionally and ask me questions, always disguised with a new face. Mostly, they leave me alone. And so I wait here, wishing for death. I'm so sorry. I'll try to get you out of here. But first, I need to find my daughter. Of course. I understand. Have you ever heard of Professor Cornelius Blake? God have mercy! What is it? That man! He is the man inside my head! He is the one who torments me! It's okay. He's not here. He is the reason I am here! What did he do to you? I was his lab rat. He used you to prove his theory, didn't he? I hate scientists. They're all ego-driven, greedy bastards. Blake is the worst of them. Can you recall anything he said? What were the experiments like? I have no idea. I lost my mind long before I met him, though I do remember the machine he used to get in my head. It hurt like nothing I'd ever felt before. I heard voices screaming. I thought I was in hell itself. I saw green men. Oh, they weren't men. They were monsters. They slaughtered everyone in their path. They meant to exterminate us! I drifted in and out of these visions. I can't tell you what was real and what was not. I can still hear the voices. I can still hear the screaming. A few weeks after I met Blake, these monsters took me away. I knew it had something to do with him. Professor Blake is dead now. Good. I hope he rots in hell. I had no idea he was this cruel. Do you know anything about the creatures that took you away? They are monsters. They told me they have powers beyond my imagination. They told me they rule our world. What do they look like? like humans but that's just a disguise maybe they're not aliens maybe they're only government agents 
These are not humans. You can see it in their eyes. Who are you? My name? Oh, what difference does my name make? Call me whatever you like. I have no name anymore. Shut up! I beg your pardon? They won't stop talking! I don't know how to make them stop! There's no one else here. Oh, I can hear them. I don't hear anything. Of course you don't. Shut up already! I can't even hear my own thoughts anymore. Do you hear someone in your head? No. They're all around us. I'm the only one here. Let's start over. My name is Richard Elmstad. Who are you? Elmstad? Are you? Son of Carl Elmstad? Yes. What a... Wait. Why are you here? Because of my father. What about him? He was murdered. I'm trying to find the people responsible. And that has led me here. My condolences, sir. Your father was a great man. They stole him from us. We have no chance against these bastards. So, who are you, sir? My name is Stuart Winkelstein. You're Stuart Winkelstein? Hmm, that yes. name's familiar. That was my name. Not that it matters anymore. I know you. That may be. I was once in politics, like your father. Oh, yeah. I knew him very well. Brilliant man. Oh, God. Make them stop. I can't take it anymore. That means you've been here for more than a decade. Is that so? I have no concept of the passing days. My life is an endless nightmare. Stay strong, Stuart. I'll come back for you. False. Thank you, Richard. It was nice to speak to another human again. I only hope the voices will leave me alone long enough so that I can get some sleep. All right. Hopefully this door will just open. This looks like some kind of machine, but I have no idea how to use it. Open sesame, please. It won't budge. Of course, nothing's ever this easy. Oh. F f these things. Yes. Now I should be able to push the buttons in the right order. Uh, you thought, but I still don't see how to make those symbols what in the world dude why oh you piss me off game <laughs> okay we got this we can do this we do all right so we got this to this and then we have I don't know if it's a line and a thing, or just a thing. I actually think it's this. 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 Oh, fuck. I don't know. There's so many. Oh, fuck. My brain hurts. I'm getting pissed.
How am I supposed to know where the fucking squares go, bro? They're floating in between. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh. Thank God! Oh my God! Thank God! Lord Almighty, we did it! I got so lucky. Oh, I'm so. Oh, thank the God! Aren't Whew. That was giving me an so an angry. Please don't give me another one of those. Who are you, reptile God? He's so tall. Hello, Richard. Welcome. Seems you finally arrived. Dude, you tall shit, dog. What have you done to my daughter and my friend? I don't care about Blake. They remain in the city. Their memories will be... Modified. modified. What does that mean? You better not touch them, you bastard. Bro, he got like fucking four feet on us. <laughs> While sitting down. You still don't understand why you're here, do you, Richard? No. You seem to think this is some sort of government conspiracy. And now that you've solved the case, now that you know the truth, you think you can stop us? Your mind is different from the other worms. But to me, you're still just a worm. You are one of millions we must squash. You are not special. You're not the first. You have not won. You humans are so self-absorbed. You can only see what's in front of you. Your life is a mere coincidence of biology, time, and space. And you think that entitles you to something. Your life is nothing. You think I care about your life, or the lives of your friends, or the life of your child. You are nothing more than a tool, and we shall use you as such. We will feast on your flesh if we please. We are your gods! Cool. I don't care about Professor Cornelius Blake. Why haven't you killed me yet? Am I not dangerous to you? <laughs> we take no pleasure in killing. Is that how you think of us? As cold-blooded murderers? <laughs> killing a human is not so simple. There's much that goes into it. We must be careful to remain hidden. We mustn't draw attention to ourselves. There are other ways to deal with worms and killing them. As a matter of fact, we always prefer preservation to extermination. What are you talking about? I must admit your courage is admirable. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah. <laughs> then why you know Blake will be last. I'm just letting you know I don't care about he him. He was dangerous. You are not. He only wanted to help the people of this city. He wished to disturb the balance. He sought to disrupt our plans. Your plans to take over our planet? We've already taken over your planet. <laughs> this planet is already ours! We have ruled it for thousands of years! We're not trying to take over this world. It already belongs to us, and always has. Ancient civilizations once worshipped you. But now, no one even knows you exist. You're not as powerful as you once were, are you? Got him. You humans once feared your gods. Now you tell fairy tales of prophets who will return and redeem you. You preach of a merciful and benevolent god who lives in the clouds. It's a joke. You have no respect for real gods. This voice actor gods is really with good. true power. And so we must operate in the shadows for now. We must remain invisible until the time is right. You are nothing but cowards. Afraid to show yourselves. <laughs> Who are you? Where did you come from? My name <laughs> cannot be spoken in human tongue, nor can it be heard through your ears. You look human to me. <laughs> I take any form I choose. I am the ruler of this region, a master of my kind. You will obey me. I obey no one. Do what you like to me. There are people who can stop you. People who can put an end 
to this madness. It's us. We can do it. Like your friend who helped you get here. The man who gave you his boat. How do you know that? Please do not insult us, Richard. We see everything. Your friend didn't help much, did he? He tried. I don't blame him. He was fighting for the greater good. Like myself. He knew quite a lot for an average human, didn't he? I know a lot too. Once I started digging, it wasn't hard to learn about you and your people. It was pretty freaking hard, bro. Whoever. It was really freaking hard. Whoever you are. Yes. Walking down the path is simple once it's been laid before you. What is that supposed to mean? You are standing in an ancient temple kept secret by the gatekeepers to the underworld, the rulers of this earth. And you believe you found it yourself? You... You... Jabated me! You must think you're very clever. No. This can't be true. It is true, my vermin pet. This has been your plan all along? The man I met? The man who gave me the boat? Ah, finally your senses are working again. He works with you? No, he works for me. He's my slave. He does everything I ask of him, including killing all politicians. So he was the one who... Who killed your father? Yes. Shit, this is not going to happen to me. If only I knew! He was once like you, Richard. We molded him. We perfected him. We have shaped his mind into something quite valuable. So he's a human? He isn't like you? He was human. We made some changes to his DNA in order to fit our needs. You had him kill my father in order to lure me here? Why? You flatter yourself. You are only one piece in a grand design. We needed to exterminate your father and his ideas. Though, I am pleased to say this brought you to us. Why didn't you just kidnap me? Why go through all the trouble? This has been a trial, Richard. And you have been performing beautifully so far. Though, in these final moments, I must say you are disappointing me. A trial? Your mind is no ordinary human mind. It operates on a higher frequency. I know you feel this. You could be such a powerful tool, Richard. We need to scan or explode his brain. A tool for what? Do it. For all that I command you to do. Be still, Richard. You won't feel any pain. <laughs> okay. Why did you kill Blake? He was on the verge of exposing our existence. We couldn't let that happen. There are thousands of people trying to prove you exist. Why him? He was the closest. True. Your society dismisses those people as lunatics obsessed with horror stories. Conspiracy theorists, you call them. Blake was different. He had a scientific explanation. He was about to show the world how we communicate on telepathic frequencies. You're talking about his metaphobia theory. Precisely. He'd even built a prototype mind reader. He was a brilliant and talented man. And that's dangerous to you. Of course it is. Anything that interferes with our plans is dangerous. This may be too complex for you to understand. But the world exists in a delicate balance. Anything that threatens to throw off that balance must be stopped. You disgust me. Finish him. So what now? You plan to gut me and leave me for dead in this forsaken hole? No, oh, we'll use you. Oh, how many times must I tell you that we do not wish to harm you? Then what are you going to do? Mold you. Make you better, going faster, to give you stronger. Purpose. Your time has come. You are finally ready to face your fate. I won't help you. You'll have to kill me. 
Gefälsk will star Nifkosk. Back at you. Oh god, it's a dragon Good demon. Good lord. Yeah, well, how are what you? What are you? Fucking huge. Now, worm, you shall finish what your father refused to complete. Garish knows it's done. Huh. Oh god, naked people everywhere. Get away from me, naked people. Relax your mind. Accept the inevitable. Bro, no. You... What are you doing? Use your mind and Stop. explode them. Tronsk, Suntovar, Vultagnis, Orizna! Oh god, we lost. Bad ending. They drained me. They got my brain juice. Fucking. This was a whole lot of work to just get fucked over at the end. This was a whole lot of work to get dicked on by lizard people that don't look like demons. I will become a lizard person. God damn it. I'm a crocodiler. One month later. The moment has finally arrived. My moment. Am I a politician now? I will accomplish what my father never could. I will transform this city. I will transform the world. Only a fool would refuse the power I have been offered. The world is ruled by chaos and anarchy. It needs order. Only a few truly understand this. Humans are not slaves. They are imperfect vessels, redeemed by the awesome power of their gods. Without order, without the divine plan, extinction would be the only option for this pathetic race. Now they serve a higher purpose. I finally understand now. I have been enlightened. My mind has been strengthened, refined. I will follow the road that was laid before me centuries ago. Greatness awaits me at the end of my journey. I will bring us all into the light of a glorious dawn. This building is now my throne. Its workers are my servants. This is my destiny. This is my city. You either die a hero or you live long enough to be the villain. God dang it, dude. We worked so hard. I mean, I don't... Uh, there wasn't really anything else to expect. Because we weren't learning a way to beat them. We were just learning about them. But damn, man. I would like a happy ending for all my work I put in to get to the end. This was an insanely hard game for me. I'm not that good at point clicks. Uh, but hopefully it's helpful to other people that want to play through it. I'm going to edit everything down so it won't be as long as it took me. It took me about six hours to beat this game of straight playing it. It was pretty rough. But if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, god dang, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of upset about that for real, for real. <laughs> like, I feel like I deserved a better ending than that. The voice acting in this game was pretty good. I can't complain too much about that. The only voice that really annoyed me was his daughter. It's probably because they had like an older person trying to do a younger person's voice, possibly. I don't know. Excuse me. Yeah. Well. At least we learned the truth about the dark reptilian society. I wonder if my lizard friend from the... Uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle was famous. We'll watch this video. Probably link it to him. He likes the lizard people, so he might like this. Thick businessman. There are a lot of credits. Well, I guess there was a lot of voice actors. I wonder if I was the first person to beat this game on Steam.
fuck the damn Iranian boy. <laughs> he wiped my shoes and was like, give me money, bitch. <laughs> Screw that guy. <laughs> Not a fan of him. <laughs> That's a hundred ruples or whatever it was. <laughs> that was really cool, I guess. That was alright. The puzzles were really hard and interesting. But man, did I get stuck so many times. I'm so bad at point clicks. Maybe I'm not bad at them. I've actually been beating them recently. So maybe I'm good at them. Without like a guide or anything. I don't even think this game has a guide because I just, I think it just came out today. Many thanks to Lucka who has always supported my creativity and of course my best friend Alan. Without whom I wouldn't have been to discover the venture, the beauty of adventure games. I want to thank the Digital Mosaic crew, oh, I'm not reading that, crew from the bottom of my heart for her making my dream of a Neo Retro venture come true. I also want to thank my mother for her unconditional love and my mother, father who showed me the beautiful world of adventure games, Dato Caballeros. Thank you, thanks to my wife, Gab, Dan, Witcheron for his immense efforts in the voicing of Richard, all the voice actors for bringing the characters to life, and my friends for helping me fulfill the project. Fits it. Thanks to my family and friends for their support, all of the voice actors for their huge efforts, and a special thanks to my friends at Digital Mosaic Games, which gave me the chance to work on this project. Dedication to Hicker and G can't pronounce. Hint! Metaphoria is a free game. Sell, rental, and auction are strictly forbidden. Alright, guys. We did it. We made it through the credits. And the whole game. Woo! <laughs> that was an adventure and a half. That was quite the adventure. It's really well made, though. Struggle, but really well made. Alright guys, I'm going to see if anything comes up, but if not, bye! Game closed itself.